Today's A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan podcast is brought to you by the Bart Merrick team. It's Bart Merrick and Crystal Van. And if you're looking to buy or sell a house anywhere in Florida, obviously they service all of Central Florida. But if you're looking uh, outside of Central Florida, they can refer you to qualified agents that can service that area. It's a nice place to start because they know their stuff. Yeah. And uh, they will point you in the right direction, even if they can't help. But I'm pretty sure they can. Yeah. An insane amount of experience, uh, hundreds and hundreds of uh, BDMs, houses that they've uh, helped yeah. buy, a ridiculous help amount of help. sell, and that's what you need in your realtor team is experience, and Barton and Crystal have that. Uh, and speaking of BDMs who bought houses or sold houses through Barton and Crystal, we got Matthew on the line. How you doing, Matthew? I'm doing great, guys. How are you today? Good, Good. man. How was your experience with Barton and Crystal? Oh, it was excellent. Uh, I worked primarily with Crystal. And she got us into uh, basically our dream home. Awesome. Man, I love hearing that. You know, because I don't live in my dream home. I live in an old, dusty uh, <laughs> POS. I hate it. Uh, and, and No, I'm joking. I'm joking. And for everybody waiting for interest rates to change or whatever, like right now you have negotiation power. You and you actually can, uh, you know, underbid on certain houses that are for sale. And like, and then just uh, refi out of it later if you need to. Just like, you know, best time to buy your dream houses today. Yeah, you might as well investigate. That's good. Right that there. Yeah, I like that. Oh, Tell oh Crystal, I got the goods. We'll set your mouth on flavor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I love those. Well, Matthew, thanks for using uh, Bart and Crystal and the Bart Merrick team. If you ever want to come in and watch the show, you're welcome yeah, to. Man. That's part of it. We'd love to have you. Come sit in one day and hang out with us. I'll have to take you guys up on that for sure. Yeah, All right, absolutely. Man. Send, uh, you know, Crystal's got my uh, email, so you, know, you can go through <laughs> yeah, her. Talk her. to his assistant. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she'll make the necessary arrangements. <laughs> She's basically my assistant. I'm going to start saying that. Yeah, uh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, Matthew. No, thank you, guys. You have a wonderful day. You too, man. Thanks. Have a great weekend. So remember, it's BartTheRealtor.com. And his assistant. Are you looking for the best weed in Sanford, Florida? Look no further than Tom and Dan, Tom and Dan, Tom and Dan, 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 Tom and Dan, Tom and Dan, Tom and Dan, 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 Tom and Dan, Tom and Dan, Tom and Dan, 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 Tom and Dan, Tom and Dan, Tom and Dan. Live from the injured on the go, just call Mo Studio. It's a blast. It's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Hello. This is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke-heavy, and just right. Thanks. to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. It is another edition of a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha, our producers here. Hello, Sam. Hey. Brendan O'Connor from Bungalow or in the bus or just Bungalow, depending on if you read or listen, he will be joining joining us momentarily. Party I'm sure. to the party. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Party to the party. A uh, couple things. October third next week. Uh, is it October third? Yep. Yeah. We um, we're going to be out. I'm going to be out, uh, and Sam's going to be out at the Orlando Solar Bears presenting uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning yeah, and man. the Florida Panthers. So we're going to watch some NHL party? hockey. You going to party with me, Tom? Hey, what's up? Party at a school night? What does that mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, what does yeah, that yeah. mean? Hot oh, tub yeah. after? Uh, no, hot no, tub no, after no. to I'll, warm you up from the hockey match, right? I'll, I'll just get drunk and slur talk you. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> And never hey, stop. Hey, 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 Why don't you invite her to your house afterwards, her and her husband? Oh, too. you and Shades are going to yeah. you and chug Shades? some beers together. Yeah, you could t- chug a couple beers and then you sit in the hot tub. You have a short shorts off. You could have a short shorts off. Uh, we were hanging with Shades uh, this week. I love that guy. Um, Especially now that I know he does what I do. I love that guy. 
Then uh, October 16th is the uh, opening night, right, of the Solar Bears? Yeah, I believe the 16th is when I'm uh, going to the opening night. And if you've never been with us for uh, uh, for a Solar Bears match or game, rather. 19th. 19th. Bad, bad. Um, Um, It's a Thursday. You'll really, really enjoy it. We're taking on the Everblades, which is, in my opinion, one of the greatest names in hockey. But just don't tell them that. Don't tell Uh, them I said that. Yeah, and get your tickets through uh, TomAndDan.com in the Tom and Dan section. Yeah. And uh, that's, you know, they give us a discount if you get your tickets through there, and then that tells them that uh, you're listening to us. Yeah, it is really all, uh, you know, accountability-based. If you tell them that you're using our links, then it really, really does help us out. You look extra grumpy, dude. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Well, that's why I screwed pissed. up the date already. Like, I, mean, I, I have, have, the, I have the information here. See him, how he's, like, looking. I have the information. He's huffing and puffing. Even our guests are picking up on it. Yeah, yeah, Thank you for yeah. being here and sitting into the show. Yeah, yeah. We Speaking appreciate of that, you. Uh, uh, next year, our Tom and Dan Cruise 2024.com. Yes. That's the website. Uh, you can go to TomandDan.com and find out all the information. Anyway, Check okay. it out. You can put down a so, refundable deposit. I know I've been talking about this a little on uh, corporate time, but um, this weekend, um, and I don't even know how this started, and I'm mad that, it, that someone came up with this plan. Um, and well, I'll explain. Well, many, many people had this plan. I was asked to be a part of this plan, and I declined. Yes, yeah, yeah, pun intended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pun intended. Uh, I'm mad about that too. You see what I did there? Yeah, you see yeah. what I did there? I, I declined. It. So um, somehow, I, I think <clears> this. <throat> uh, what happened? No, no, no. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I man, said you are extra that. edgy, grumpy today. Yeah, somehow, man. I uh, I guess we heard that uh, No Effects was playing their last show in Tampa originally. Yes, uh, it was like Clearwater. It, was Clearwater. Like, it looked like a nice venue. Yeah, it did look yeah, like yeah, it. It was like right it on was. the it was right on the ocean. I think you get that ocean breeze. Yeah, man. And then I think um, all the wives came up with this because uh, like all my friends. We, I would imagine it was spearheaded by Andres, man. Honestly, Leanne, yeah, yeah. someone, yeah, you know. Like, fun yeah. and then like wants to you know my wife likes to do this too where she plans things but she also to get people together she also does something that i've started doing regardless of whether or not i think i'm gonna go or not i use the energy and the excitement of possibly going to buy the tickets and just let's plan it let's do it and i've been doing that yeah. based on your wife inspired by crystal van and i do like that I, i've been doing it more with andrea where i'll see something i'll be like i want to go to that Clear Let's it. Go. We're yeah. going like I and I. I do like that. She, okay, you're not impressed. Okay. I'll, well, no, no, no. So I, it's your yes. life. I understand. I know that you should just buy the plane ticket. Jenna hurt. Yeah. Uh, you know, just invest go in your future it, right, and right. buy a plane ticket. Yeah. And and I was inspired you're, by your wife, who's done it many times. Where she wanted to see the Avett Brothers, okay. and she's like, you know what? God damn it. They're my favorite band. I'm going to get one ticket. I'm going to fly to Colorado, be with my family. I'm going to see them have a magical night for me yeah, because yeah. music means okay. something in my soul. Yeah, yeah. It, well, yeah, but yeah, buy the plane ticket to see Alaska. But if it's uh, uh, already on, melted yeah, and on fire, <laughs> just don't right, go right. there. Pivot. Well, anyway. you give Maui enough time to rebuild. And Listen, then you go. The, uh, so somehow, like, everybody got to talking, and then they're like, well, let's all go and see this no effect show because there's a band. Is that this we an listen anti communication event? Right, because <laughs> we listened to it in high school. All the you know, as all our friends did yeah. when we were growing Would up. Would you say it was the quintessential favorite band of everybody? Was it a linking band? I don't, I don't know. It was just you know, No Effects, Lagwagon, all these bands that we all yeah. listened to. The you know, '90s like, punk bands, I, yeah. '90s early 2000s, punk yeah, yeah. Bands. '90s pop punk bands. But anyway, mm. I think it just that'll yeah. come around and bite you in the ass though. <laughs> when you see a band you loved as they get older, yeah. I'll, I, I've stopped seeing certain bands because I'm just like no. I, I want to remember them when well, they were good. That's kind of yeah, what yeah. I did with No yeah. Effects because the last time we saw them, I believe I saw them with you at House of Blues. We were in Loge, and then they did something that they that I've never seen them do. They played The Decline in its entirety live on stage. Yeah, and it was cool. It was pretty cool. It, yeah. was, it was a great. It was cool watching them from Loge uh, getting a waitress yeah. to bring us beer. Tall boys. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, unlimited tall almost boys. anything is cool in that scenario. <laughs> like I'll watch yeah. anything, anything. You know, no. I'll, I'll, I'll just sit there and look at the stage. You know, I was going to tell you that. I was <laughs> going to say, need, like, no, don't even AC, turn the lights on. Waitress, I'll, I'll beers. Sit, I'll sit in a balcony and just drink a beer yeah, quietly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't, I don't inside need of, anything. Anyway, I'll so, just talk to the waitress. So anyway, I think, and then somehow, My new friend, you know, of course, because everyone's like, if we're going to this concert, we can't bring the kids. Then it, it became like uh, our first 
kids free weekend hey, no. that, that any of our friends have ever done play together. A Marco Polo. <laughs> yeah, this would be the time to swing. This would be the time to swing. Um, but you're all gonna have mud feet. So that's gross. That's gross swinging. So hard then, to pump with a mud foot. Mm. So then everybody's like, all right, we're gonna and then they started making the plans and you and booking the hotel. You act like you don't know how this happens. You do know how this happens. You're probably in that um don't you guys have you're all or on it's Rumble? A group chat. It's Aren't a group you all chat, on Rumble whatever. and that's how you do your uh secret plan? And then it was I was like, all right, but the, the plan they booked it originally it was, it was in Tampa and we booked a beach house like a big beach house mansion yeah awesome. you and, guys are gonna do Jersey Shore Miami <laughs> Trash Edition and then it was, Miami Shore and then I'm like all right this is nice uh, Airbnb beach house and like a pool or whatever and yeah. then we're all gonna it was it. a good setup and then we're all gonna stay in the same house yeah. and then I was like all right and then go like you know Uber over to the the venue yeah. and then eh, maybe leave early yeah, go back to the beach house yeah I was and like pump. oh this sounds great I'm like I'm in yeah go back and swing and then uh so uh, some time passes mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden uh, the announcement yeah. usually change. you know what i found you that should be more sam mad at breaks a lot of bad news to me almost <laughs> like she's looking for it's, it's as if she puts alerts in her phone anything i'm looking for it's yeah. like it's like what you, you hear out in the front of here uh-oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And it talks like it. what yeah, 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 and then Sam's like, uh, "Looks like they're moving the no effects." But I don't know. First of all, you should start there. If you want to be mad at anybody, you should start with no effects and the fact that they moved the show. Uh, like I still uh, don't. And understand. they blamed it on the city. I still don't understand why they moved the I show. I don't either. I mean, who the they hell? They claim the city said there were too many events and they were worried about traffic. I'm like, yeah. I've never heard. Yeah, because city, <laughs> cities any city hate that. Say like, that. Too, yeah, too much, too much infrastructure, too much uh, money coming into the <laughs> right, city. Right. We got to shut her down. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Too many people coming in here, spend a bunch of money. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean a sold out concert on the water? No, 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 no. not in my sight. I think the old people in Clearwater didn't want the old punk rock. Show I mean, there. it's possible. Maybe they said, "Is this going to be a Sanford Booth Fest?" Moving down the road, <laughs> they don't even know what. But, but the punk rock is old. <laughs> like you know, it's like when they start. Yeah, but they in don't. The seventies, it's a like, little different. You like, know, like I'm going to look around at a sea Those of beach other towns. The elderly people, they don't want anything that's not Jimmy Buffett. They gatekeep keep them hard, yeah. man. I mean, Mount Dora is kind of that way. I mean, you have, <clears throat> pardon me, even Baldwin's a little that way. I, where you have people, if they got the money, they try to lock it down and change it. I'm going to be in a sea of old fat dads yeah, at this concert. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Anyway, so... Everybody's going to look like a bigger version of me. So Sam breaks the news to me. Uh, on the show, by the way, which also I feel like she does it on purpose. It's too right? hurtful. Because, because, yeah. like, because all, she wants your real reaction. Yeah, 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 she yeah, wants yeah. you to cry on air. I have no time yeah. to think about it. I watched him it. panic <laughs> and grab his phone. Hold on. I got to touch Crystal. Hold on. And then and they're like, well, where are they moving it to? And then Sam tells me. <laughs> they're moving, like, you don't, they're you moving don't it to know, Dana Dixie. Well, at Which, first I was like, oh, it's Orlando. That's actually better for you. You don't have to like drive down. But then I saw the venue. Yeah. And I was like, where oh. are they moving it? They're moving it to the woodshed. The worst. That would have been better. <laughs> Listen, this is not even subjective. This is objectively the worst venue <laughs> in Orlando, Central Florida. Central Florida, yeah. The entire Central Florida, coast to coast. I got to pull it up. What yeah. is it? The Orlando Amphitheater. Theater at the Central Florida Fairgrounds, which is essentially a tiny stage in the middle of a shit field. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, Central you either Florida. have to stand on the concrete pad directly in front of this uh, stage or here's on the sidelines. Here's a great photo of it. Because of the way it's built. Here's Florida a, Fairgrounds. Here's a great photo of it I found. It's at the bottom <laughs> of a hill. <laughs> that. That's the bare bones. That's the bare bones. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's Hold on, I'll find another one. It's just a huge open red ant field yeah. <laughs> next to a uh, you know, polluted lake <laughs> that I've been in before at the boat show when I was riding a salesperson in the, on the radio. <laughs> it's a horrible. Uh, oh, and, my God. Yeah, you rode a black and, guy. <laughs> you rode a black guy. Well, his race had nothing to do with it. He was just the salesperson. But he did make it funnier because he couldn't swim. He couldn't yeah, swim. Well, that was all. But, hey, listen, it was a different time in the radio. Here's days. a better shot. Of, uh, Not my show, by okay, the way. So <laughs> by the way, this is a 10,000 capacity lakeside venue. So and this is sold out, so you're going to be nut oh, to butt with a butt. bunch of stinky old uh, punk rock And heads. look, you park in the you park in the grass and you just continue walking in the grass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, this is not good. When I first heard about it, I screamed, no, please no. <laughs> 
Oh, and, look, you can then, be like these people and sit in the grass, like those people. Yeah, so then, yeah you can't bring chairs. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Lots well, of rules. Then I started, I was like, well, we'll bring some camping chairs. We got a bunch of camping dad shit. We'll yeah. bring a blanket. Oh, you you can can bring, bring a full your outdoor kitchen. kitchen. Yeah, 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 you get a full kitchen. Bring Either a toilet. toilet. Yeah, we'll just bring some water. You can bring a 10 by 10. Why not bring a 10 by 10? And then just sit in the back. I don't give a shit. You know, we'll all sit together and some camping chairs. Dude, I'm not kidding you. I would bring a 10 by 10 tent and I would set it up and park myself under there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, no tent, no chairs, no nothing. No nothing. <laughs> you can't. Br- you can. They're like you could bring a six by three clear toothpaste <laughs> bag. Yeah. <laughs> they don't want toothpaste it bag. Is the little, no yeah. outside food or drink. You or have to a, pay so you much bring money. A clear biodegradable dop kit. Uh, uh, and then so uh, back to the fairgrounds. And so. it's been raining all week. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah, gonna yeah. be so it's bad. It's a seventy-one percent chance of rain. Hold th- on. Tomorrow. Hold on. All you week. trust our listeners. We got some reviews coming in. Business baby. You trust Business Baby. All right, all right. Business Baby says, I saw Weezer and Fall Out Boy there, and it sucked muddy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. And if right? you don't know, not Business Baby. He's Here's the, the thing. If it had not rained all week, you might have had a chance of it not being that bad, but it's rained every single day. Yeah, well, the, the best part, real. it's going to be a mud field. Is the standing water is producing as you, right now. All the mosquitoes are fucking, <laughs> and they're pumping each other, and they're <laughs> dumping and eggs. And it's and lakeside. All, they're oh. pumping and dumping eggs like yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah, and those yeah. mosquitoes are going, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be great. Cr- yeah, it's gonna be the, like a jungle out there. The army of homeless people that live <laughs> oh there are pee peeing on the floor. <laughs> They're like, this will be hot and steamy by the time uh, Saturday rolls around. Oh my god! So I saw. Uh, I just got curious <laughs> about because I started. Th- I was like, "Fuck the fairgrounds! God damn it! Why are that? Why there? It's the worst thing." You still venue. have an option. You it's still horrible. have. You still have floating with Fernando. And, and so, the two F. Okay. That's a great name. You still uh, have floating with Fernando. Fernando. Fernando already drew a line they're, in the sand. They're said, threat- they're all my friends are threatening to fight him if he stays. They're what? he's a tough <laughs> man. He's a tough yeah, man. Yeah, they don't want him because they're like, "If I'm going, you're going." No, they're all uh, fighting you, each other. If you start the movement oh. now and stand your ground with Fernando, you can float with him, sir. You can. We all float down. Take your life back. So I looked up the Central Florida Fairgrounds. Yeah. Right? Just because I was curious, I was like, "What the fuck is this place, and why has it? Why are they?" <laughs> that is such an old man thing. <laughs> what okay. the fuck is this place? Because immediately I was like, "Wait a minute!" Is, so is it named because the Central Florida Fair pays? You know, like the fucking Amway Arena or the goddamn Camping World. You uh-huh. know, I'm like, did it get sponsored? Uh-huh. And then the Central Florida Fairgrounds naming, like, bought naming rights for it. Like, why is it called the fairgrounds, and well, again, no, it's the Orlando Amphitheater at the Central Florida Fairgrounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the amphitheater is just some shit box. That's, that's, what, that's, <laughs> the, the, that's the venue. That's the yeah, yeah, yeah. concert venue. Yeah, yeah. But the, the fairgrounds, I was like, well, what is it's it? It's a stage what? in the field. Yeah, yeah. What, it's a stage in a field. And I was like, why? Like, I'm like, it's they have a Facebook been, page. I'm on. Yeah, it's been there since I've been here. Like, I've I, 2016. I, yeah, yeah. I was like, so it's been a while, you know. So then I was like, why the fairgrounds? So then Ooh, I looked they it got up. A, they got a bad reviews. Uh huh. Re- mm-hmm. Oh wow. Can, guess how long the fair has been going to that. Shit field. A hundred years? <laughs> One hundred and twelve oh, years! Wow. <laughs> oh my All right. god. One, uh, since, you really did your research, grumpy old man. <laughs> since 1912. <laughs> <laughs> and they haven't changed the fucking thing. Uh, se- it's exactly the same. Seven years before, women had the right to vote. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. That, uh, was just the only good thing just about the some fairgrounds. Of the, some the, of the reviews the, here. Uh, easily the worst concert experience of my life. I waited <laughs> two hours to park and had to pay $20. Never in my life have I yeah. had to wait so long to park. Here's one. It took almost an hour to get in and out of the parking lot. Nobody was directing the flow of traffic, and it was a mess. I'll never go back. I got fucked. The, the fair- they accommodate 10,000 people, but expect them all to enter via one single lane and i'm like <laughs> they the, only had seven people accepting tickets the, this place is a clown show <laughs> oh i like clown show the goddamn uh like the fair has not even changed locations <laughs> why since it's perfect like, 17 years before <laughs> penicillin was invented <laughs> Like people were dying of tooth problems at that fucking shit field. Uh, people in have a died. No, people have died in the field. <laughs> oh, thousands. Yeah, thousands of people have died in that field. It's it's literally a graveyard. How can it be? The the <laughs> land and the area is so bad that they didn't even develop it in 112. Like Disney World, all these other like Orlando has exploded, and then this field has never changed because it's in such a bad area and it's such a shit field, right? Why, yeah, yeah. That, that, that they develop is, 
everything. What what big field has been around for 112 years? I'm trying to read more reviews it's, on their actual site. It's so bad. But they've been hacked by a herpes medication company, <laughs> and all the reviews are just spam for the herpes who, meds. Who owns it? Is it the is city owned? It's, it's just gotta the, the, be. Like, but even the city or would be would be builds. Is that, well, that's outside the city, right? It, I don't know. It's <laughs> it's um, so. It's, the show I saw was great, but the parking for the amphitheater was a muddy trash pit. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, uh, I would imagine. Yeah, I guess it's city owned. So then uh, we get a text. Uh, very nice text from Kay Rollins uh, from Orlando oh, City. Yeah, 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 I love Kay. And uh, she texts me and Daniel, the queen um, of she's like, Orlando soccer. Hey, I just so happened to have some extra tickets to the luxury box this Saturday. If you guys want to come watch a game, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, watch the match uh, on Saturday in the luxury nice. box. You know, it may or may not be. Yeah. Last time I was there, I've never uh, been. You know, I've never been in a luxury box at uh, Exploria Stadium. I've never look. I work for the team. I've had some good tickets. I've had had season tickets. I've never been a luxury box. Listen, last time I was there, uh, George Lopez and Cedric the Entertainer were uh, sitting yeah. next to me and, uh, and <laughs> uh, right. talking to me about podcasts. That's right. Uh, and then uh, we were just having some beers yes. with George Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. He was Cedric the Entertainer. No, it was, it was three of them. It was Cedric it was George Lopez and one other famous comedian. No, I know. I can't remember who it was. Anyway. Damn it. So then Daniel's like, I would love to go. <laughs> I'll bring of my course. family. I said, How about you, Tom? And I'm like, Well, I can't because I, I can't have, ask him. I forgot. I can't I forgot. even I tell asked. you what I'm doing because you'll think less of me. And then I think he thinks I did it on purpose because I'm like, Hey, yeah. you're gonna go to the game with us on Saturday, right? It's like, Fuck you. <laughs> so it makes it worse knowing Daniel while I'm standing in a hot mud field. <laughs> Are you gonna wear shoes the, at the fairgrounds? Are you gonna wear flip flops? Think, knowing that Daniel's sitting in a luxury box. Yeah, air conditioning. And, I believe. <laughs> watching this a is city not, match. Well, this isn't confirmed, but I think it's unlimited Heineken's and Amstel Lights. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think. I th- remember? Because oh, yeah. you go in and there's a Heineken bar. Yeah, and then yeah. they're. You get snick snacks and Yeah, drinks. and they got the tray. You get cookies. your own personal bathroom. By the way, there's one bathroom <laughs> at the amphitheater. Well, I have. You got to <laughs> fight your way into the bathroom. There's no, they don't even have porta potties. I've uh, never uh, been to the owner's bar. I have unlimited $14 <laughs> hot mud lights <laughs> to look forward <laughs> Oh, man, they might and run the mud, out. Yeah, the mud. Uh, so uh, I oh, don't know why it makes it worse <laughs> that knowing Daniel is in the luxury box and I'm standing yeah. in the mud field. I didn't even think of that. I'm sorry. Spectrum I, uh, of events. It, so, I really did not think of that. I don't want anybody like thinking I was being an. A- I was not look, deliberately being an asshole. It is about to get worse. So <laughs> back up a minute. So I started really analyzing what the fuck were we thinking. Even planning this, like the only time I uh, contend, if it would have stayed in Clearwater, it probably would have been fine. It would have, yeah. That yeah, venue yeah. was, We'd, yeah, it would have been fine. We would have been had had in cool the mansion, Airbnb, yeah. yeah. But I mean, I hate to be a out. dickhead, Sam, but it's not in Clearwater. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. but you're also saying you have an issues with where you're staying now too, right? So then, of course, everybody had to scramble and like find a hotel or whatever. So then we all talked ourselves into. Well, See, okay. I like this idea. When Let's you treat told ourselves, me this, <laughs> when you told me this, I was like, "Well, fuck yeah! This is the way to com- to the only way to combat the problem you're having with the venue being bad." And you're like, "Yes, okay, we're gonna the venue is what it is. Put it out of your mind, but get yourself at least a nice place, a nice home base with a pool, good breakfast, good bar. Spend a little money on it, and just go enjoy yourself with with your your kid free friends." That's what everybody said. Or like, mm-hmm. okay, we're we'll just get a hotel. We'll hang out at the hotel yeah. with no kids. We Weekend, you know, let's uh, and Sam and I got this wrong this. because, like, you told us what you spent yeah. because you said you were going to stay at the Grand Bohemian. Yeah, and well, I said, "What the?" F-? I was like, "Oh that's shit, big money!" Because that's the big boy hotel. Well, that's used what I be. thought. I, it used scr- to be. I think it used to be. There might be a reason why it's, it's not. Well, uh, it's also got the fanciest yeah, name. See, look, even the even the chat room saying Key West, uh, Melissa saying Grand Bohemian is nice, nice. Yeah, that's what I uh, thought too. Yeah, yeah, well, that's what I thought. I haven't uh, been around there in years. I, I checked out the lounge a couple. Yeah, yeah. Like, who stays in Orlando, like downtown Orlando hotels? If you live here, it's a weird. Only thing if there's to do. an event, and I don't want to yeah, yeah, Uber right. home. So, um, so anyway, my friends are already driving on the on the way up here. By the way, like uh, you know, right now, we, yeah, we're staying at the hotel tomorrow night all together, and some are staying tonight, some are staying at my house. Gotcha. There you go. Anyway, yeah, sounds uh, very easy, <laughs> yeah. and not complicated. Well, this, uh, well <laughs> it all got uh, super complicated once they moved the event. I know, I know. And then we all had to figure out anyway. So. 
um, then uh, I think some of the wives started looking at the reality of the situation and panicking. And then, uh, you know, because uh, they were like, well, hold on, the mud shit field. And like, yeah. I don't even like, care about no effects. Like the wives don't right, get two right. shits. They're just going and, along to make yeah, the boys' dreams come and, true. And then, yeah. so, so then one of so my buddies. So wedge each other, I shotgun think, beers. <laughs> Turkey Legs wife called the hotel to ask if. Did she use an alias or a fake no- she, voice? She's like, you know what? I'm treating myself to a spa day at the Grand Bohemian. Yes. Since, uh, since you know, you're dragging me to this mud field. By the way, uh, like, so not Crystal, because this Crystal was involved in the plan, but all okay. the other wives are yelling at their husbands. That's the only good thing this, uh, about this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's love company. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I like the fact that they're getting yelled at. Anyway, sure. so uh, she's like, can I have a spa day, whatever? And then Who, like, Crystal asked you that? Or Turkey no, Legs No, Turkey wife? Legs' wife called, and then the, the person uh, said... Ah! Spa's closed. We have massive renovations going on right now. <laughs> and then, and then That's by, always good. By the way, there's loud. And they put loud in, like, in, in caps. In, <laughs> and then it's like, it bold, I'm, I'm like it bold. they bolded it. Loud drilling 24 <laughs> 7. No, no. They're like, we keep it from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. <laughs> so just all day. When you're recovering with a hangover. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes they start a uh, little early. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to get out of yeah, there, yeah. smoke weed. We're trying to get it done early. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So Jesus. then, so then, <laughs> all the wives are <laughs> mad and panicking, and then they start looking up reviews. <laughs> right, but and by the way, somehow, like uh, Crystal's definitely getting blamed on this, and then the blames. But I you mean, should be okay with that, right? I screamed I mean, "Grand Bohemian" in the background when everyone was like, "Where should we stay?" Because I was, yeah. I thought that was a fancy. I place. thought it was too. Uh, uh, so Sam, I, I, I would, you got to do your research. I mean, honestly, you could blame me a little bit on that because I always thought I mean I've been I'm with Sam though I've been to the bar I've read had the small reviews. plates there and it well, there was no construction and it was hella nice I'm uh, talking like really nice. Andrea has a good question is the pool even open um no one checked Andrea <laughs> <laughs> like, you, a stupid you think, question you yeah, yeah. bitch you think anybody Get did any here. research Get to uh, work if we would have even thought about <laughs> any of this do you what, see how Andrea what? works though do you see how effortlessly what? she does that she's like is the pool open are the amenities open show me the list of amenities that are open. Why are a bunch of middle-aged men trying to do the thing they did when they were teenagers? <laughs> you know, know. Like, That's what I say wait, about this podcast. All the advantages of being a middle-aged man, like uh, having a couple pennies to rub together, like we have some money, we that's can do whatever. That's a really old man thing to say, by the way. <laughs> no, no, no. Rubbing the pennies that old. I, that's old. I, all I'm saying is we all could have done something different. Why did we choose, let's do the thing we did when we were shit-poor teenagers yeah. to go stand in a mud field and watch a punk rock band? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's stupid. I, I it's feel a, you. The whole idea of it well, is Well, you blew stupid. it, though, because you didn't get VIP. No, I... <laughs> Anyway, you know, you, you read the review, Sam. You could have been, right. like, very <clears throat> easily gotten VIP. You know what I mean? Like, you could have. Yeah, but what's VIP in the ship field? I, like, okay, <laughs> now that's a great question. I don't know. <laughs> that's but... worse to me. One of the, which I thought was odd, one of the things you could pay for, and I don't know how many of these passes they sold, but you could have us, like, stand on the side of the stage as if, like, you're friends with the band. Oh, like, yeah, I did see that. I, who wants to do that? I and also, how that. many people are going to be standing on the side of these fucking stages? Andrea like, liked that, though. She got to do that a couple times for Warp Tour, and she well, likes standing you're on the side of the stage. paying, like, thousands. Yeah. Thousands yeah, of dollars right. to stand with a bunch of other people. Yeah. That's not really special then, right? No, I got you. I got you. And right. then Especially also, again, thousands. how many people did they special sell Special because you can see their butts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, Brent, we'll turn around. Hi. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. No, you're good, dude. You're uh, good. We're yeah, talking yeah. about Tom. You, uh, Tom is going I'll out to see. Brendan. Yeah, no effects. And no it's effects a, final tour. Oh, oh. Just, uh, Brendan, what's your opinion? Brendan didn't it, hear this. It's almost like Brendan came at the perfect time to give a... Uh, you're welcome. I'm glad you didn't hear the beginning because you'll be able to get a true reaction from him. Yeah, yeah. You just say where you're going and everything, and, and he'll tell also, you. Also, what's with the mustache? Are you sad? Yeah. <laughs> sad? yeah. Sad? I, I like it. I'm too depressed to shame. I like, I like it. I like it too. Bet. Just don't mention it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what to talk about. Get the fuck out of here. First, what are it your looks th- like it tickles. <laughs> hey. What are your thoughts on the Orlando Amphitheater as a venue? Have you been? Uh, yeah, I've been. Um, I don't think I have thoughts on it. It's <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst thing you've ever done. That's the worst thing you've ever done. So bad. You don't even think Am I about in trouble? it. No thoughts. Am I in trouble? Okay, no, Are they here now? Is no, that that's worse? Fine. No. That's the worst thing oh, you've ever done. No. Hey, uh, 
Okay. It would have been better if you said it's okay. Oh it's no, right. I should have listened like, first. Like, Wait, what are your empty cup? What are your thoughts about your uncle fingering your bottle? <laughs> <laughs> Never again. I tried not to think about it. Never again, Uncle Tom. Oh, anyway, uh, Brendan, can't call him that. What um, is what is your overall uh, uh, let's say rating of the Central Florida Fairgrounds? Oh, shut up! Oh my God, <laughs> the fairgrounds, they, Brendan. Am I gonna, are they listening right no, now? No, no who's no, no, listening? No, no, no. <laughs> no one's in charge. We're so, seven out of ten. Seven, no, that's hot. No, come on, you're lying. I am lying. <laughs> it's a shit venue, and you know it. It's okay. not great. It's the yeah, worst. It's pretty it's bad. So it's not I'm not joking. Okay, okay, what are your I thoughts? I did like when Nude Night was there. I thought that they Nude did, Night gross. The, the Nude art, Night was there. The art, yeah. <laughs> what in the mud field? <laughs> Nude Night was not in the mud in the field. warehouses. In the warehouses. <laughs> <laughs> the warehouses. It's only half a step above the mud field. Yeah, and you could just drive right up. There was. It was. I like. <laughs> the flea market the, there is garbage. The infantry, I was telling you about. <laughs> it's a nude warehouse. I hate the flea market there. I hate it. I'm offended when I drive by it. I'm like, why does this exist? <laughs> Everything one, here has fallen off of a truck. The one that, yeah, Tony, yeah. The one that Tony, Tony told me to go to that one time <laughs> no. and I went there. And I'm no. like, I'm virtually certain everything here is so I'd rather go to the one bad. in Mims, which is full of Donald Trump finger puppets. Well, yeah. And <laughs> there's a lot of Nazi memorabilia there, too. Yeah. How do you sell that? You want to get new? in a warehouse near the Central Florida Fair. Obviously, <laughs> yes. Yes. The answer is always yes. Oh, my God. That's, so that's why? Shit. What's happening? How do you feel about the Grand Bohemian? As, in general? Yeah. I like it. I, I like their so. new pool deck, uh, hey. rooftop pool deck okay. venue. Is cool. hey, so well, that's where Tom's staying. Unfortunately, it is under a ton of renovations. And here are some of the reviews. No, they're done. They are not done. Yeah, yeah. They are not done. <laughs> oh, no. no. Yeah, yeah. You know what the thing about renovations and... <laughs> Never they, done. And yeah. Even, yeah, even construction done. workers, <laughs> they are slow. They've had me there... And they, they love weed. They've had me there four times. They do love weed. Yeah, yeah, I've been pills. there four times. I went Well, they're, they're going to treat you right because you're writing about them. Yeah, yeah. I don't get Tom to see... Tom just randomly booked a damn uh, yeah. night there. Why? Oh, because of a show? Yeah, yeah he's, because uh, of the show. Well, it's not the closest. You guys are only giving me half stories here. I don't have enough. Information. Well, let me ask you this: How <laughs> what? How long is the Uber from Boobert? Can you can you cancel that and get something like I don't know. closer that's not under? Rent? No, great. Bohemian's great. Do you understand what's close? Uh, I, know, Central it's Florida Fair it's, I know it's bad stuff. <laughs> but it might be non non renovated, is what yeah, I'm saying. Maybe you can stay at Bus's house. Yeah, he I mean, lives over there. Do you yeah. want to get murdered even or do you want to hear a jackhammer all night? I know, I know. Go cool. uh, look after Bus before, so, chickens. So, Tom sent me some of these reviews, but I'm going to read the one that Andrea put in the chat because this was from one day ago. Oh. <laughs> God, Stay at, at your own risk. <laughs> well, well, hold on a second. Don't let my wife do that to you, man. You have my permission to do anything you do. This is not her review. This is not her review. I don't know. Why is my wife enjoying this? <laughs> I must warn people. This Help is a me. privately owned and the worst hotel I've ever been in, and what? I'm not even being picky. It is falling apart. The pool and Starbucks are under renovation and no notification online before booking. The AC is motion censored, so when you sleep, it shuts off and you sweat hey, all night. We have that in here. We have that in the studio. It gets hot as hell. We got to go walk in front of the oh, bus. I didn't know that. It yeah. never got lower than 74 degrees. The phones don't work. TV doesn't work. <laughs> toilet barely flushes. No fan in the bathroom. Changed our room three times because they couldn't figure three it out. Three times. All right, another uh, one. Don't stay at this hotel. It's old and ran down, hence the renovations. I've never heard any of this. During the early morning, which they don't tell anybody about until <laughs> after they receive your money. The management is terrible. Raphael, the engineering director, prom- <laughs> Raphael, they name Ninja names. Turtle. Promised my rate <laughs> would, be, one. <laughs> would be refunded due to the noise. It's that bad, yet never followed through. And the rate change at the front desk manager says he doesn't even have the ability to make that decision. This hotel. <laughs> can't give you a refund. This I hotel is a joke. The management know. is a joke. And there are much better options. They're where? Not. Where are the other options? Now, hold on a second. That's not true. Well, there the are. Are. Like, I'm just standing here. <laughs> There's a bunch of them. There's well, Wellborn, which oh, is go to the Wellborn. Or Aloft, Aloft Hotel, yeah. which is great. They, they're ready. Oh, those are, are rad. The ones that are like little. Yeah. yeah. Aloft's they're awesome. They're great. The day artists. My friends are They have fine. a dog in the lobby. I, we just found this yeah. out. Three hours ago. <laughs> but my friends are staying there tonight. They uh, can't get a room. No, can't. Bohemian's great. That's old de- that's old decor, unpleasant noises early in the morning, and this is supposed to be a bougie hotel. The only thing bougie is the price. Would not recommend. Oh. Oh, I think no. the the restaurant is fantastic. That rooftop 
pool deck is so cool. I've and always I, liked and the bar. They're done the renovation. I don't know what they're talking the about. The jack awesome. hammering noise starts at six thirty a.m. <laughs> water is shut off well, for four hours your a day. Getting it on. Wait, they shut the water off. <laughs> four hours a day. Smoke detector kept going off all night in my room. Also, but yeah, because you were smoking. <laughs> <laughs> There's no <laughs> bad bugs either. You don't put that That's as an ridiculous. <laughs> you don't have the best reviews. You can't come in with crabs smoking a cigarette <laughs> and then complaining that the, <laughs> this, oh, is, this is oh, Christmas for me. Boy, yeah, boy, I can picture this miserable person vaping in their hotel room. Why does the alarm keep going on? Brendan's got big bohemian in his back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would have stayed free. I trust the people. That's the right. Best, no. The best part of this is Brendan is so connected. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's. Fine. Because like, no. like, he's got the yank, man. Yeah. This guy's connected. Yeah, you get yeah. Bohemian in there to give you some money to put a blog up. And all the, <laughs> I know how it works. Oh they did God. not pay me. Uh, they did not pay me. They invited me and they fed me and they brushed yeah. my hair. I know. <laughs> I know. Listen, I they brushed my hair. Oh, I know the game. I know. I know. I play no, that game too. They're I, not I, clients. But they don't pay me. They're not clients. <laughs> I want to oh, know. I can't shit. wait to hear what you think because I. I think yeah. the BDM well, show should be fun. Well, if yeah. you want to f- hear it, you're going to have to be a BDM. Yeah. We'll Real, get the full review yeah. of the Bohemian and No <laughs> oh, Effects. Oh, my God. And you didn't hear this part, but just to make things worse. <laughs> what are the, you wearing? The lovely oh, yeah. K. Rollins hit me up and said, oh. hey. I got extra seats in the luxury spots, you know, in the box. and cl- oh, that's Club nice. level. You want the club level? For good what best? show is this? No, oh, he's match. going to no effects. I'm going to the match. Oh, the right. soccer match. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We're doing a we're doing a little uh, city mouse. Uh, you know, is country, there a game this weekend? Yeah, on Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Saturday. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Um, who are we playing? Montreal. You want to oh, go yeah. and root for uh, the? Yeah, Canadian? tell K I want to go too. Okay. I'm, I'm I, actually, K. there's one more ticket, which would have been mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally true. Yeah. yeah. That's Let's go and we'll touch them. Yeah. I'll have to ask her. He's like, you sure you don't want to go? Oh my God, no, I'm like, going to go stand in the field. I didn't even think of asking <laughs> you that. Field, the worst field in, no. in now, Florida. Are you mad? Every other field turned into a goddamn condo or mm. something of the mm. townhouses. Did you know that this field? They won Orlando Weekly's worst field in Orlando. <laughs> so, <laughs> so bad. Would you have gone with me if I asked you? You're not going to leave your, your wife. 112 years <laughs> of people looking at this field by a lake and saying, nah, not, no one's going to live there. Don't <laughs> Don't build anything on that. Oh, yeah. 112 no, years of no pissing selling. in the field. Would you have come with me? What? You wouldn't have come with me. I, you know, Orlando City game? I almost want to. Like, if you think about it, what I'm like looking at. I mean, I can reach yeah. out to Kay. Yeah. Sorry to Brendan, but I mean, I can't reach out to Kay and yeah. say, like, hey, Tom's yeah. freaking the fuck out <laughs> because his concert sucks. Uh, his friends will yeah. never let him live it We're down. We're season ticket holders. Yeah, but he for... won't care if he's in the luxury box he drinking will. Heineken. He cares what people think, especially his friends. Six hours Free of Mudfield followed by a night of Jack Hammer. <laughs> 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 uh, but not the good kind. Not the good kind. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, uh, I mean, we'll end with this. I just because I was like, well, what a night of Jack Hammering with Tom Van. Uh, w- wonder what other acts play at the Central Florida Fairgrounds? Like, well, you know, because if there, there's a big music you know, festival. Like, yeah, 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 the, the next show after the Snow Effect show is, and I'm not making this up, is free cover. El, el Concierto. <laughs> el Concierto. Yeah. What is El Concierto? I, I, I think it's just... I think it's just a free Latin free concert. Free concert. What's wrong with Latin concerts? Nothing. I'm just Why saying... Why he Hispanic? He's just it's, saying it's good enough for the free <laughs> Concierto. <laughs> here, right? Magic hey. Wand and Miriam Cruz will be there. I know Magic Wand. Oh. He's going to be there. Yeah, yeah, he's going to Magic Wand? Uh, I'm just J-U-A-N. saying... He should have a D at the end. Like... Uh, Taylor Swift Juan. is not you know, no, no one no. that we've ever Magic heard Juan. of. No, no. Hey, no like uh, Hoobastank <laughs> is in oh. the headlining. No. <laughs> yes, but, like, they, you dove deep. <laughs> you pulled there, deep for Free Hoobastank. cover, is El there, Concierto. Is there a chance... That it gets so Always. wet out there that they have to cancel. <laughs> they, they will if it's lightning crazy. It, okay, so no, you, the Sam told me they they'll moved. push you into that warehouse. <laughs> oh, it's staying so bad. They'll push you into the pinball warehouse. Yes, that's, that's where the terrible. pinball convention is. I went to that one time. The same, yeah. the same warehouse that they put all the nude people for nude night is the pinball auction uh-huh. warehouse. The lunar, the lunar New Year festival. Yeah, takes they do place it all there. in there. They're like, stand in this warehouse for a while. <laughs> like, don't worry. When uh, when we for we'll get, blow a horn when the coast is clear, <laughs> and then we're. Oh, we man. get you back out there. Everybody will have the same energy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what if they cancel? Uh, what are you going to wear? Leave? What are you, you going to wear? You didn't answer uh, that question. I, well, just sandals like and a short and a polo. Sandals. No, yeah, yeah, I'm not wearing. I'm going to wear sandals? shoes and a mudfield. I, I would wear shoes and a mudfield. Oh yeah. No, I don't want ringworm. Cowboy yeah. boots. I, I just don't want. I don't want dirty Daisy feet. Dukes. I don't want dirty old feet. <laughs> My feet are pretty much dirty. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you got that cut on the bottom. Is that healed now? Yeah, it's healed with dirt in it, like it's tattooed a line. Great. That's fine. Excellent. Like ritual scarification. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is good that you prepared your feet. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. The, uh, All my feet are always show. prepared for um, <laughs> sandy and mud. All right. Well, let's take a break. When we come back, I want to ask Brendan about some other things going on this weekend. Still but gay. That's not. No offense. Damn <laughs> what if you weren't one? Damn it, man. man. I, you know, I had told him. Wee! You won. You won. We made a bet. I was like, I bet you this is the week. <laughs> yeah, 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 I bet yeah, you the I week he comes in. He's like, I'm pussy crazy. Yeah! Vagina. I, I've said before. I was like, I bet Brendan's not gay. <laughs> I told a story about sleeping with my Scottish uh, friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lisa. I told that story at, at Bingo, and everyone yeah. in the room went quiet. They're like, that's not the narrative we want. Yeah, exactly. Here's dick, you, dick, 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 dick. You've banged more, <laughs> you bang more girls than I have. That's true. That is true. He's more of a man than you. Man, you really are <laughs> self-loathing today. My yeah, yeah. God. He's, he's whipping God. himself. <laughs> he really is. And you are he's getting, preparing for it, Yeah, though. you are. You're getting yourself mad Yay. for making a bad decision, and like, that's your that's your love language. That's Is that how, how you, you cut your foot? Yeah, like I've always said, your last meal before you get executed shit should sandwich. be a shit sandwich. Yeah. Because <laughs> why are you eating some delicious lobster yeah. reminding yourself make how the, good make life the is? Make the bullet the relief. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Bullet you want to eat something big, a huge buffet dinner, so no. when they no. kill you, you have a big dump. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, up. that's good, too. <laughs> you just you want to do something that makes you want to die. That's a, yeah, yeah. You know shit say? sandwich. I'm trying to make myself as miser- miserable as possible. I get that. Anyway, the name of the artist <laughs> is uh, Positioner. The name of the song is Vines. Ooh, sounds dirty. Uh, it's not. It's I don't think it's. Welcome back. Or no, we'll let what, what? See you we'll later. I meant to say we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back with I more so. a mediocre time momentarily. One eight four four T O M N D A N. If you'd like to call, and yes, we will be right back. Tom and Dan to talk to you about our buddies at BearDown-Logistics.com. That's BearDown-Logistics.com. You may not even know what that is. Yeah, it basically, if a company's looking to move something on a flatbed, yeah. a semi-truck, yeah. a box truck, they yeah. I mean, they have all the different types of trucks. But companies, they don't call a moving company that you'd move your house. You know, yeah. you call a company that can uh, you help want a you third move. third-party logistics company. Yeah, you yeah. want a I, specialized company, and where BearDown really excels, besides having all of the trucks and all the different, you know, vehicles that you need, they have the drivers with the experience that, yep. that are going to, you know, deliver whatever you need delivered perfectly. And also the personalized customer service that Corey Davis, who's a BDM, will yep, give yep. you. Uh, here's his number, 386-212-0201. And that's what you're really getting. You're getting uh, Corey Davis that's going to uh, personalize the customer service yep. to you and make sure that you're getting the best price. You're getting, uh, you know, live updates. And you're getting, like, you know, uh, complete transparency when it comes to moving uh, your stuff from one place to another. Yeah. And if your company needs it, if you're boss needs it if you got a friend that that yeah. need to move something like this well you know give him a shot try beardown-logistics.com you want to freestyle buddy oh uh, yeah oh uh, turn me up mud field 2023 here we go, Dark manscape. Child. I'll use this on my balls. Buzz, 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 and then the pubes fall on the ground. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm good for one of those every three years. <laughs> I hope that manscape is like whatever you did worked. Slide up the shelves. Do more of that. The more buzz, buzz, buzz. The pubes fall. We need the buzz, buzz pubes. Uh, Tom and Dan twenty. Use promo code Tom and Dan twenty when you order anything for manscape. Uh, it'll give you 20% off. And <laughs> and he, Daniel's using the Handyman, which yeah. is a great It's the best one they have. Like, shaver. It's because it's so tiny, and you put this in your DOP kit, yeah, and yeah. Uh, you're good to go. Like, I could have this. Medical marijuana in my dop kit. I'm yeah, good to go. That's all I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. And a toothbrush. Toothbrush. Yeah. If they put a grinder in it at the same time. <laughs> I wonder if 
we could convince Manscaped to put a grinder attachment on the end. What? Or, uh, or a vape. No. <laughs> they yeah. like, probably pubes. don't want any of this. I ruined it. I ruined it. I'm like, we like the buzz buzz, but we're anti weed Don't vape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we make pubes. I'm <laughs> <Yeah>. goddamn drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, Manscaped. All right. So, <laughs> down 20. I used, my, I used my ball spray the other day before bingo. Because it smells <laughs> good, dude. Yeah. It smells so good. <laughs> hey, Manscaped. Here's, and, and include this, please, Tracy. I need a bigger bottle of it. Yeah. I don't use it just on my balls. I like a light cologne smell. I don't like to be a you heavy. Spray color. the ball spray on your neck. I spray it all over my body. I spray. I just started my balls and just go a little bit up. So I go balls, belly, yeah. titties, mm-hmm. and then I'm good to go. And then when I put balls, my clothes, belly titties. Yeah, I do balls, belly titties, which is another balls, song. Balls, belly titties. It's, that's balls, the follow, belly titties. It's the follow up to buzz, buzz, yeah. buzz. And, uh, <laughs> but then I do that and I smell good. That's all the right. chorus. Tom and Dan twenty. He's so, still mad. Oh, uh, serious, <laughs> serious face. No, no. So Gets Brendan. Work. Oh. Uh, Tom, we haven't talked to you in a while. What's going on in Orlando? Uh, what have you been up to? Oh, God. Um, tell us about it. <laughs> tell <laughs> us about it. Yeah, give us the lowdown, man. God, fuck you and your straight journalism face when you ask me those <laughs> questions. Uh, what is happening in town? There's all kinds of stuff. Uh, roads are closed all over Ivano Village. So if you ride your bike, go over to Ivano Village and support those businesses because they are hit hard right now. Uh, oh, Lucky that- Lure. Uh, Savoy, you know, like it's just, it's people are kind of just avoiding Ivanhoe Village right now because of this big s- sewage pipe. Oh, is that what thing? had happened? Because I noticed on Corinne, they, they had the green bike lane. That's happening too. That's things a- again. And I noticed that it is, I don't know what they're doing on Corinne, but it's right outside of my neighborhood here in Baldwin Park. And it's a, um, a really hip kind of an area near yeah. Park FCDs. And Audubon Park. Yeah, Audubon Park area and Big Daddy's is there. But they have the sides, um, they're painted green and closed off. And it it's all crazy. Like people don't know what they're doing, and no one knows Which how to. Which is funny because it. it's really just on street parking that they took away to make the, that that one bike lane. Uh, There's no parking in otherwise. Like where are people supposed to park I, around there? I, I, now I'm not. I, I never go to those areas because I can't ever find an, any parking. Winter I, Park, Audubon I, Park. I, I do oh, like. That's yeah, how you know damn. you're old, Sam. It's that's real. how you know you're getting old. That's fine. <laughs> I do like when Put the government a fucking parking lot. They uh, they they have to do road construction in front of your business. And yeah. then there's no way for cars to get to your business. And then you tell them they're like, "Hey, they're like I, not our problem." <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I might shouldn't you, have a business, idiot. You're, uh-huh. You've blocked all the cars from coming to the my bike business. Lane there's like nothing is a we could do. Good they're, thing. They're Let like, me tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to put my city planner hat on. <laughs> the uh, that road was designed to move tanks. Right, because of the and big old navy boats, because the navy base here where Baldwin Park was built. Uh-huh. You know, so uh, it's too wide. There's no reason for it to be that wide, and especially with this main street now that has established itself along this corridor, it doesn't make sense for people who are like pedestrians. You shouldn't have to cross. As, as five, what is it? Six lanes, four, five lanes. I don't know. Six lane uh, road <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. to go from uh, a local shop to another local shop. It doesn't make sense. It's not. It's not where this is going. You know, this area needs to be more walkable. And so they've been testing pop up. Well, what the bike fuck am I doing? My tank. <laughs> <laughs> Put it up your butt. <laughs> no, but seriously, like it, it does seem like it's yeah. going that di- uh, direction. That's where it's going. They did yeah. a whole study. They're, they're going to be shaving off a lane eventually. This lane is is a pilot project. They've done it a couple of years where it just lasts a week. This seems to be temporary. I haven't really read the email yet for the city. Yeah, I just got the answer. Like, how long is this here for? But it's going to be there for a while. Were you out well, there for Buddy Dyer's deal? Was it? No, I don't ever go to that. A couple of days of ago. State well, no, he, he said that he he basically said that the downtown Orlando. That's comfortable, uh, but I look like a blobfish. Well, that's that. fine. That's <laughs> fine. It used to be uh, more like businesses, right? Like our downtown was where you go to do business, and he's like, that's going to change. Yeah, and people office are working parks, with- office st- yeah. down, downtown offices, no longer central business districts don't exist anymore. The pandemic killed office towers. They, people are working from home. They're too expensive, and, and it's messed up downtowns, and, and we can see that. But that's also part of this narrative that the mayor and his people are pushing, 
which is why they're getting rid of bars downtown or in the, or they're they're putting so in what policies. what is going to be downtown? They want it to be a neighborhood. So you're going to yeah. you're going to hear the mayor say that for the next 4 years. He's he's saying so it's downtown turn into is a neighborhood. And... They want more residential downtown. They want more shopping. Shops, right? They want shopping. Uh, shops. Less okay. bars. Gotcha. Uh you know, they don't want that scene anymore because they're also saying the bar scene is what led to the spike in crime during the pandemic. But to be honest, crime kind of spiked country nationwide. Right. I don't think yeah. it's just a bar it's problem. It's not really the bar problem. No. But and there's plenty of other places around town that have groups of bars together, and it's not an issue. And not an issue. Yeah. yeah. There is a gang issue that's definitely coming to the fore that not a lot of people are talking about, which I'm I glad. find very I'm interesting. I'm pro-gangs. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Yeah. There's a certain camaraderie that yeah. they have. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know. About, you talk about lifelong friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those members. are literal ride or die. If there yeah. Is, yeah. I mean, like, you I can't mean, leave. You have Ask awesome. any gang yeah. member what friendship no. means. It's right. tell you. <laughs> right and die. Yeah. 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 Uh, they, there's two gangs that are specifically clashing downtown, and they, and they ally with different party promoters. And so if there's a specific party promoter that's hosting an event at a downtown bar, they'll show up, and then the other gang will go and hang out outside. And so there was this, like, confluence. Uh, these these meaning of these gangs in the streets out in front oh of these God, places. The sharks of the jet, <laughs> and that's why people were getting shot. It's and, West Side Story, <laughs> and that's why the city wanted. They got rid of the outdoor speakers. They didn't want outdoor speakers. They they said this downtown we're taking away outdoor. your music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you got damn footloose. No more jams for you. And Turn off that rock and roll. That's this bringing them here. <laughs> these are footloose. They like the jungle beats. <laughs> Fancy free policies downtown to shut down the street party atmosphere and make it more. Family friendly. They want more families downtown. Ooh, I'm gonna bring my family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. You described the yeah. paradise. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's all there. homeless people. Yeah, yeah. Day, they basically so. saw the tweaker and he like almost fell on her. Yeah, scared because of the all the services for I, I, homeless people are downtown. Right. I can't tell you but how many times. They're taking care of the homeless people, so <laughs> they have overflow. Well, it's, but it's families tough. are not gonna go there because I, of that. I look at my yeah. wife and two young sons and I'm like, let's go to downtown Orlando. Which is that's where the Bohemian. Actually, <laughs> and it's actually what I did three weeks ago. It's, it's where exactly what the I history did. center is. They yeah. bus kids in. Uh, I know. It's yeah. where the big beautiful library is. Downtown, I know, yes, right, yes, Doctor yes, Phillips? Yeah. Oh, now but, you're doing the Bohemian <laughs> thing. It, it. Yeah. Oh. But every it is tough, right? This is a big transition for downtown, and yeah. but. And the issue with the homeless people is they're spending, or people who are experiencing homelessness. I'm sorry, yeah. please don't at me. I'm already. Yeah, in you're supposed to say on unhoused, right? Aren't you supposed to say I that? I guess. Yeah. Well, actually, My wife told me that one day, and I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> How did homeless? Like, I understand bum. <laughs> like, people are like, I like bum. It's so easy to say. say. Bum. And I'm like, all right, I, like I try. I try. I it's still, like an acronym. It's be still, urban. Be urban splunkers. Yeah, it still slips in there every once in a while, and then when I'm not on the air, I say it all the time. But, you know, but, yeah. but then as I, I try not to say it, but the homeless, how is homeless insulting? They're spending And, and houseless is not a no, house. Unhoused. 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 Unhoused individuals. Because sometimes you're, you know, you just fell behind on a payment. You know, they say what? You're two paychecks? Most people are two paychecks away from being homeless? Yeah, I'm closer than that, I feel like. You know, <laughs> I feel like I'm a, pay, I'm a half a paycheck yeah. away. Yeah. Like, 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 if you yeah. miss a paycheck. I'm a couple of Microsoft yeah. digital planes away. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot more that has to happen. <laughs> Maybe just, it's yeah. two paychecks and but you're you But I got the mental you illness. And you're down group. there at Central Florida Fairgrounds? I got the mental <laughs> illness. Yeah. And you don't have like a support network. There's a lot of new people in town and you know, housing's expensive. You, you could be out in your car. There's people who work at Disney who are living in their cars or going yeah. to UCF living yeah. in their cars. Uh, they you saw but, the documentary with all the children that live in the hotel. <laughs> yeah, with, uh, with uh, what's his name, the go- goblin, the uh, green goblin. Yeah, thirty million dollars they're putting towards homeless programs right now in Orlando. They just got another thirty million bucks to to, to throw at the problem. Waste and they have Ooh, a housing first policy where they're they're trying like if you are chronically homeless, you can get housing. Right. So, but most of the people you're encountering downtown are not really homeless. They're, 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 
They call them aggressive panhandlers. So or, they would or, be like no, acute homeless, not That's my favorite type of homeless. homeless. <laughs> the yeah. aggressive panhandlers. All, all Orlando homeless, they all walk the center line next to your car. They all tap on the window. <laughs> yeah. And when they tap on the window, it scares the fuck those, out of those me. Those are the aggressive panhandlers. Yeah, and they're, they're not aggressive. necessarily homeless. They call they call it camping. They go, they, they tour urban areas and they make money. They make that's they make a lot of money getting money from well-meaning people at stoplights and stop signs of, at multiple cities all over the country. And that's their job is is making cash oh, from oh, you. Well, I'm Isn't glad they, I'm helping them. And do they their call job. it camping. They oh. call it camping. They'll come into like those are the G words, right? Uh, we don't what? Know. I don't know what the G G G G. I don't know what you're talking What's about. That, Grifter? No, 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 the gypsy. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 What does that stand for? You say it. Oh. It's Roma. Roma. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Mm-hmm. I got to cut uh, that out now. Thanks. Just interesting. So, yeah. So that, but what you're seeing are, are dirty people asking you for money in the street. And that's why people don't want to go downtown. But most of those people aren't here for very long. They're just transitioning. And that's why the city can't help them. They're not, oh, they're they're not here to get homes. They're not here to get Holy shit. <laughs> oh, How are they going to do that? You don't have any that money. That's going to be hard. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it yourself. Don't do it yourself. Here's a Tom Van tip of the day if you're downtown. Uh, I used to uh, do promotions downtown every Saturday for like, 14 months. I mean, you put in, thank you for your service. And, you put in your time. And if uh, even if you don't smoke, buy a pack of cigarettes. Yeah. Although it's different now than it was in like 2005. Buy digital cigarettes. <laughs> like, buy a now, blue. Like, they're $15 more expensive. Uh, but if you get asked, by a uh, what are they called? Gypsies. By a, someone oh. like a home, no home, <laughs> no, <laughs> no home, 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 no mo. If you get home, no. <laughs> oh, it's home, no mo. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> home, no mo. It's home, no mo. Yeah, it's not no homo. It's home, no mo. Okay. Hashtag no mo. Hashtag Hashtag no mo. Anyway, give them. Oh, he's a hashtag home no no. I'm going to get an email about that. For sure. Give them a cigarette. Uh, they, they, like, yeah. They're so happy. Now when I got to carry get... around cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, but, oh. yeah, yeah. but then you, you make someone happy and then they leave. They, they do love you, a cigarette. And, God. You, and you don't have to I lie. Watched you do and this you don't have to one say, time. I never lie. Just, and there's no reason to lie. If someone's asking you for f- money for food downtown, there is no, there are free meals every. Where? Every Brandon, they don't want food. All day. <laughs> I want alcohol but, if that's, drugs. but they're lying to you. So if they're like, oh, I need money to buy food, you're, you could say, you, dude, you can eat for free any meal you he's want. He's not going. Oh, he's not that's that worse, guy. That's worse than giving him a cigarette. Give him a cigarette. Brandon, is, you make them happy, enough Brandon. Enough Brandon. No, he you know what they gonna, want. They know, want cigarettes. They want uh, drugs. Brandon, oh he's God. not going to say that. He's not that guy to sit there and reason with a homeless man. I'm not reasoning. I'm just like, dude. Go no, over but there. He, you're not right yeah, there. Your Tom is not going to do that. But they know that you know that's not what they really want. <laughs> they're just saying you go. You have to do the song. What if you asked them? What if you said? What if they're like? No, and you don't say ask money. Them. And then you're like, is this for food or drugs? <laughs> no, you, you don't do ask. That. You never ask. I know. <laughs> I already know that's how you'd be spending the money if someone gave what it to you. What if they say food and you hand them the money? Are you okay with that? No, no. I, I want to give them the money to make them happy. No questions asked. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I want them yeah. to buy Don't one. Don't ask, do <laughs> Exactly. Home okay. no more. Yeah, yeah. Or that's why. So, uh, because I don't want to say no and disappoint them. I want to give them a cigarette or oh, uh, you want to help yeah. a dollar. He wants to enable. Everybody I, has yeah, yeah, yeah. I, You know, one of the things I'm I feel gonna... like I missed being a single man is there was a time when I really wanted to fuck a sleep a street walker. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like Come a street on. person. Uh-huh. And that's gone. That dream is gone. <laughs> Why? You can still do it. No, uh, I can't. I'll ruin my entire family. You know, there I'll, was a time I'll when I could that 80% nobody... of the men that are hiring the services of a sex worker no, that's what I want. are married. Yeah. yeah, but that's all. I can't. I'm not going to do that. I'm not that guy. That's I would have done it when I was single. But what if Adrian said, no, it's cool. She, she, won't, she won't. She won't say that. Uh, cheating is the same as being a serial killer. I don't say <laughs> you want. To, I didn't to expect un- that from you. Yeah. Find oh the, There's a lot to unpack here. You, know, you, you want to find <laughs> the person that no one cares about or oh, is going to notice oh, missing. Wow. You see what I'm oh, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> marginalized people. Yeah. So, yes. well, then, if you cheat, I want it very unfortunate. But if you cheat, and sad. I want it sad. With a no home, no mo. <laughs> wow, you <laughs> messed it up. Am I doing a home, no mo? This is too complicated for Tom. Tom wants to be upset. 
sex with a gay guy who's homeless, which is a homo to home to home. Anyway, then nobody will ever find out. Yeah. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who are, is that person going to tell? No one. And they're never going to believe them. Oh, Sadly, that's actually, that's, that. No, he's do right. That. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I got to so I just got to go find, logic, yeah. I just got to go find the dirtiest, most forgettable homeless person to have yeah. an affair yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. They'll never yeah. tell anybody. And even if they did, they're like, I had sex with Daniel Dennis. And they screamed out. They're like, yeah. get out of here. You're crazy. Get out of here, crazy lady. <laughs> and then you'll look at me, and then I'll look at you. And then I'll <laughs> wink. Yeah, I'll know she's yeah. telling the yeah. truth. Sorry, bro. Homelessness. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm in it. I'm in it like a, a an Instagram fight right now with multiple people. Because, Homeless people? Well, we <laughs> they don't have phones. <laughs> yeah. no, they do, actually. Right. I was like, God, if you spend as much time you know, getting a job as you do posting. <laughs> you want to be an influencer. <laughs> Quit reading my papers. <laughs> I'm influencing my papers. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Feed me and I'll post right, about what, what, so What's fun that's happening? We got, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which, yeah, we got what's spooky fun? season coming up. Anything? Uh, yeah, the... Uh, well, Ooh, thank you, because I almost talked about feces gate, and I don't want to get no, into it. Whoa, <laughs> hold on. Exactly. Now we got it. You can't just... You can't drop feces gate and then try to move on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you fit our show so perfectly, right. man. God damn it. Uh, what is feces gate? Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting... I'm kind of getting canceled, maybe, by some people on Instagram. What? We, uh... What? Uh, we, by the way, I assumed it's the gate to the Central Florida <laughs> 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 It is. It is. Not everybody. That's the best. <laughs> I'm, I'm hugging you. Full circle. Full circle. I so am great. hugging you. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Do you know oh. City Arts? City Arts, the building downtown. It's like an art gallery. More like uh, city farts. More Hello. like shitty farts. <laughs> so I, they, no, I'm joking. Oh, we don't I talk don't, about that. No, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. They yes. have an alleyway behind it that that they're going to be turning into like an art courtyard. They just got some big bucks from the city to re- to to renovate it, and they've been saving like cool iron gates and things that, okay. from the Church yeah. Street Ballroom. The bum stole Tom's demolished. iron gate from his Delta <laughs> they, house. They're upcycling <laughs> these historic right. pieces of, of of cast iron, and they're going to be putting it into this beautiful alleyway courtyard thing. Uh, and so I wrote about it because there was a time you'll remember when you guys. You helped sponsor one of our bleachers. Yeah. Yes. What? Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. We had a pop-up park for three months during the pandemic for outdoor programming in Mills 50 to give people stuff to do because you couldn't hang out inside back then. Right? Because yeah. right? yeah, people it cared awful. at that moment. And they're like, how can we still do stuff and be around each other? Yeah. yeah. Come to our park. Uh, and we had your bleachers. And so we were looking for places to keep them once that ended. And I was like, well, what if we just donate them to City Arts? Because they're going to be doing this thing in yep. this courtyard. And we asked them, and their response was, it's just one more thing for people to poop on. Look how happy you are. You made him happy. Oh, no. They get pooped in. That people poop in that alleyway. Daily. Yeah. <laughs> Doo Doo Alley? Steps, yeah. We got to do a show from Doo Doo Alley. And so when I wrote about it, I said they're going to transition a human feces riddled alleyway into a fancy art courtyard, yeah. is what I said in the copy. And then and nobody cared when I, I put it on the website. Yeah. Nobody could give a shit. I'm sorry. Hey. And, then, and then I shared it on Facebook. Nobody cared. I just, So I was like, oh, I'll just copy it verbatim and put it on Instagram. Oh my God. People were uh, so mad at me, and they're saying I was making fun of homeless people. And I was like, I didn't say anything about homeless people. Yeah, you assumed it was homeless people You're shitting in that alley. That yeah. I've seen the manager of Subway. I've seen videos. It's people going to Celine or people yeah, yeah. going to the Taco Bell Cantina. Yeah. Oh, Taco Bell Cantina. Because there's no public restrooms. <laughs> and it's it's an alleyway, so they just do what they do. Yeah. And, and man, these comments. Like all day yeah. You should I've spin been, it back around on them and you're like, how dare you assume I was talking about homeless people? Well, I started. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, that's on them, Sounds Brandon. like you're projecting, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like saying oh. my neighbors moved in and brought the property value down. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, you're racist. They're like, it's well, a you're racist. Exactly. I didn't say <laughs> You don't know who they are. It's so they're coming you, at you, huh? It's just, oh, yeah. And the DMs and the. Oh, it's just yeah, yeah. crazy. Because they, it's you know. kind of settled down a little bit, but that's what they're always with the homeless people, right? They're always down there caring about them. Yeah. Yeah, they're always down there getting yeah, themselves yeah. taken care of. Yeah. Yeah, if yeah, you'd spend... only care when somebody says yeah. they're shitting in the alley. Fuck you. Also, where do you poop without a home? <laughs> right. <laughs> Doo-doo <laughs> alley. Oh, no, no. I got to poop in the alley. And there's yeah, yeah. no public restrooms downtown. No. There's not one public restroom 
Yeah, yeah so maybe we yeah. need a public restroom instead of an art park. Exactly. Well, they had them. The city, we had that Barzar, the nighttime economy manager. I remember that. And they had pop-up restrooms for people. And in part because they actually, like, if you go down there early in the morning downtown, people are, like, hosing their sidewalks. Yes, <laughs> it stinks. Because it stinks like pee. Yes. Yeah. Right? And it's like a little pee. Dude, dude, I was... People <laughs> piss and puke everywhere. Because That's why kick... nobody, they're family friendly, yeah. nobody's going downtown. No, they kick everybody out at 2 a.m., <laughs> the bars in, there's this huge mass migration of people nowhere to go to the bathroom. They're <laughs> peeing in the, of, in the parking mess. garage. <laughs> the never step wave. in a puddle downtown in the morning. Yeah. It's yeah. full of other people's pee. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, all the businesses... And it, <laughs> Welcome it, to Orlando. I I'm can't, sorry. Can't stop laughing. <laughs> I, I was in the um, uh, the U.S. Um, pu- like, mail uh, office in downtown Orlando. A post office? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Oh, God damn it. What, 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 what I thought he was going to say. I, just, I was in the U.S. Army, guys. I thought you were having a spa. I was like, what is that? I thought you were having a blast, right? I pictured a room, I pictured a room full of sexy <laughs> UPS drivers with short shorts. I, I was in the U.S. <laughs> Army back in 1941. Like, what the fuck is this? I forgot the name of the Mail post office. Mail room. I never go to the post you office. You just had a mint color. What's the 19? How much is a stamp? Who goes to the post office? Stan goes every day. I go every day. Oh, I, I go go every what do you mean you go every day? I go and check the PO box, and then <laughs> if I got stuff to mail, oh, I go yeah. and I say, I nice. don't cancel that. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> what do we have that? Anyway, that was when Lee used to get stuff shipped here. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I, like I don't that. even know what he got shipped. So I'm at the Her downtown post office because that's where we have to go to oh. renew oh. our son's um, passports. What right? are we talking about? Uh, I'll, I'll, well, I'm, I'm going to bitch about what? I'm a bitch about the bathrooms. Oh, yeah, okay, um, so, okay. At so, the post office? So I, so I go, I meet Crystal with our sons. Yeah. Everybody, the both parents have to be there. Yeah. So I put my hand up and be like, do you swear you're their father? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> and I'm like, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's but, that's but they, they make but, you, you got to have a guy there. I'm pretty sure if you're willing to kidnap a kid, you're willing to lie of course. to the fat yeah. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Who cares? If that's all I have to do, yeah, I'm yeah, be yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah my like, daughter. Do you Noted. Think, do you think like, <laughs> the guy that kidnapped a couple kids is like he won't lie to me from the U.S. Like, mail thing. It's like the U.S. They, mail thing. It's like if they came to the guy and they're like, "Hey, you do know before you can take possession of the child, you have to swear that you, you're." Yeah, 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 oh, right. yeah, 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 yeah. I so there, I had to be. That's the same rule. Like if you ask them if they're a cop, they have to tell you if they're a cop. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. which is not true, by yeah, the way. What? Like, Cops uh, can lie to you. Yeah, yeah. Get, get arrested by an undercover cop. He'll tell you twenty times he's not a cop, <laughs> yeah. and then still arrest you. I've been doing it every time I'm out of urinal. Yeah. Someone checks out my junk. I'm like, are you a cop? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm there standing there with Crystal and because of the amount of caffeine and Adderall I take, I You're have to dancing. pee all the time. Yeah. And Sam will tell you, I pee every five Sam minutes. Sam will tell you. Don't know why you threw my name in what there. What what she what she I ne- you got to hold it for you? What's I thought you I thought you and Daniel talk shit about like how many times I pee every day. I'm like, something's wrong with him. No, no, nobody talks shit about you. I just assume I'm like, too much. Nobody's ever the only time I do talk shit, the what only the time I do talk shit happening? is when you're in there and I hear flush three, four times. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Like, I can like just flush, picture Tom sitting in there and they're like, oh, they're talking about my no, pee. We're not talking he thinks about, everyone's talking we're about it. We're not talking about you, man. We love you. <laughs> oh, so, anyway, but now I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> I'm standing go pee. there. Well, it's a weird thing that someone to pee that much. Like, something's wrong with me. He you does, did, he does oh, pee a good. lot. You did mention it at Sam's house. Yeah, and like as soon as he got to my house, right before he left, I'm like, we were only here for minutes. But I heard him rummaging through your medicine huh. cabin uh, looking for pay pills. I know this cocaine. <laughs> this is crazy. Anything what? to make the mud field better. What? If he could have found a jar of pay pills in there, he'd be like, score. <laughs> mud field won't be that bad. Wrong so now, cabinet. I'm standing in the post office like, God, I'm going to piss so bad. So then I'm looking around. Have you oh, ever no. been to the downtown post office? Yeah. It looks like the Ghostbusters. It does look like the It does. Like general Goro. <laughs> 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 talking about Zool. 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 General I am Goro. Zool. Dude, yeah. you're, you're, you are not going to do well tomorrow. Dude, you are already Zool. whacked out it of It looks this. like Zool's house. <laughs> it looks huge. And then I'm like, oh, can I? I'm like, which way is the bathroom? And I'm like, no bathroom here. Yeah. 
yeah. and then I'm like, no bathroom in Zool's house. Like, there has to be. And then they're, not no. a public bathroom. And then, no, not for you. And they so, learn that quick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And People so, do drugs and in And it's there, because dude. of the goddamn homeless. Yeah. Oh, shit it all Hey, up. now everyone get him for feces game. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what will happen. Yeah. And that's, you go shit in the alleyway. <laughs> no, I sit there dancing, and I'm like, and I'm like do I have yeah. to be here? And they're like, you have to be here. It's an amenity thing. It's a, yeah. it needs to, like If you don't want people pooping in alleyways, you got to provide right. a place for them to poop. Yeah, yeah. You didn't what? have a, like a, a bottle in your truck you could have peed <laughs> oh, in? Like, go into my truck and then piss in a bottle. <laughs> you know, there's places. It's like yeah. Better than piss in your pants. Can, can you piss in a bottle? I, I can did. you piss in a water bottle? I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, also, I'm, I'm too girthy. I, I got to pee in a Gatorade bottle. I can't pee. Prove it. Prove it. I mean, I will. Prove it's it. disgusting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's flat like a pepperoni and wide like a tuna can. <laughs> like you a know, pepperoni. It's, it's hard to pee. Like, <laughs> gas pedal. <laughs> when it gets hard, it just goes two millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> like my wife's sitting no. on an old coffee can. No. <laughs> no. 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 I don't like that. <laughs> oh, it's flat and it's, it, like, it looks no. like a... Man. I don't know. No. I asked about spooky season and we got feces game. I don't even know What's going on Spooky anymore? Season. You're supposed to tell us what to do this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> not what you do. <laughs> do we have a? Do I? Is there a reason for me to be here? I thought he just came here and talked about poop every time. Yeah. What, now you happening? just turn into Seth Petrozelli. That's oh all he gosh. does when he comes in. Oh no. Poop and pee. Oh, and then he sends me dick pics. <laughs> the, oh, did you get one too? The yeah, last thing. Well, through you. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> not me personally. I know, Tom. Yeah, it's I was Tom. like, I didn't send you a dick. He sent it to Tom and Tom okay, buddy, like right. a gentleman. One last Where thing am I? about no homo. <laughs> no homo. No, 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 you're messing it no up. Mo. No, home no mo. Home no mo. Home no mo. Uh, is that um, if home you, no mo fomo? If you're going to let's say the Amway from Church Street and you have to pass underneath I yeah. four, right? Yeah. Mm. Where the bucket drummers are. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where the bucket drummers are. But I there's love also the there's like a concrete wall. Yeah. That's there that basically to keep people from sleeping there. Uh, it, but also holds up like the earth that holds up the I four, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a huge concrete Alleged wall, berm. Alleged Alleged berm. Berm. and some pillars yeah. and things. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. What uh, the homeless like to do? Because I'm a big fan this, of this. Yeah. Uh, multiple times. Yeah. I'm, ta- I'm talking, I've seen this dozens of times. Yeah. Which They're it seems. The wall. No, it seems more uncomfortable to do this. <laughs> I, like, like, it seems I like a statement. Under, They're making a statement. I don't understand it, but I do want to try it, but I don't have. I don't know where I would do it. Is that the, the go up against the wall? I have no idea if it's this is like, what they do, but I see the evidence. Mm. But they'll go and they'll pull their pants down and press their butt cheeks against <laughs> the yeah, yeah, cement. Yeah. You need leverage. <laughs> it, but instead. But but not like you know. There's a, when you're pooping in your camp. Are they scooting on the wall? No 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 no. They they just put their. It's like okay. Imagine if you were gonna do like CrossFit. You know, like a wall sit no. for CrossFit when you do a wall sit for your yeah. abs. But, do like a wall sit. I've heard of it. And then shit down <laughs> yeah, yeah. the wall. But it's not oh. even a wall sit. It's like they're pooping so against poop? the wall. Yes. Yeah, they're not like you know how Ew, like fitness guys they, uh, they'll use their like legs a to, to hold their back. <laughs> yeah, in, but that's too and then you'll flat. see a yes. big. You see your mother? There's a butterfly. So no, it comes out. It comes out of their asshole, and then it what? hits the cement, no. and then it spreads no. out, and that's then art. it falls. That's art. Yeah. No. And then it falls in one line, like so it's a- like a big doo doo dot <laughs> with the, <laughs> and the drip in the middle. Yeah. And then they do this to like I think to like I hate it. Te- like I think it's a it's knock a middle a- finger. Yeah, yeah, it's a knock society down a peg. <laughs> yes. It's like it's like I live in the street. I'm gonna doo doo dot this uh, yeah. concrete wall for everybody who has a house to look at it and realize... Holy shit. I've thought the same thing. That's exactly yeah. what I think yeah, they yeah. do. I think they do it because I think that they think... Because I would. Well, because they're I'm crazy. They don't want to be invincible. So I shit on the pillar. Right, yeah. I want to be seen. So in yeah. my way to be recognized is to shit on the pillar. So when you're driving to your business meeting in your Maserati, <laughs> you see the doo-doo dot and you go, or is it motherfucker, like a, and I'm like, I'm seen. Is it a territorial <laughs> <Yeah>. thing? <gasps> oh. oh like, like, hey, this is my part of the wall. And, and they smell it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they smell it to see I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it goes that far. No. It could just just be crazy. <laughs> yeah, Which is probably ninety-five yeah. percent. It, it could be that their like entire no diet consists of rain water and rap snacks. Your chat room got real quiet. Uh, no, well, no, they're all homeless. They're all laughing too hard. <laughs> <laughs> they, they all shut their computers. computers. Yeah, they all uh, ran to a wall to shit on. All right, uh, uh, let's take a break. Uh, okay, okay, come back. Nice. We'll, we'll do some dump them out. Yeah, man. Dump, um, dump, dump them out. Let me find the next band we have. P.S. We sang the "Dump It Out" song when we were making beer the other day. You did? Oh, really? Yeah. Someone else started singing it. Tactical Brewing. Oh, really? Yeah, because we had to dump something out. And he's like, dump. 
Dump, dump it out. Dump, 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 dump. Oh, catchy. Yeah, cool. Yeah, um, we were thinking right. about you. The name of the band is... I don't have it here. That's weird. Uh, Let's make oh, it up. The name of the band is Pew, Pew, Pew. You made it up. Yeah, so there you go. Enjoy this. <laughs> we'll be back with more A Mediocre Time. Momentarily, one eight four four T O M N D A N show at tomandan.com for email. It's securedroofingandsolar.com if you're looking for a roof. Uh, maybe you've got some storm damage, yeah. or you think you do, just give them a call, uh, go to the website, it's a free inspection, they'll come and inspect your roof just to make sure. If there's no damage, you're good to go. If there is, they'll work directly with your insurance company. Yeah. Uh, same thing they did with me after a bad hailstorm. Uh, I ended up getting a new roof with Secured Roofing. Our, our lawyer, Mo DeWitt, got a, his did new roof. Did you require any emergency tarping or any of that when you had your that hailstorm that like was beating your roof crazy? There was wasn't any tarping necessary uh, because, like, they uh, basically established that there wasn't any leaks. Gotcha. So gotcha. they didn't have to tarp it, but uh, they would have, I would have had leaks if I would have let it go. Right. And I didn't see the damage when I went up there the first time. And they'll handle uh, that for you, like the emergency yeah, yeah. stuff and tarping, if that's not something you want to mess with. Look, man, at my age now, you know, sure, I can get up there and do it, but I'd also rather just call the professionals Wait, yeah, yeah. and have them handle it. They have a, uh, it's a free service. Yeah, yeah. I don't even have a ladder that big. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, so, um, if you know you're looking at solar, I know uh, might as well have the sun uh, pay you. Is that the <laughs> actual <laughs> tagline? They did not have tell me the to sun say, pay you. They did not say to say that. <laughs> 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 I, uh, they, I do they, like that they, though. They, yeah, yeah. They, they did. They, they tell me uh, <laughs> don't start making up your own phrases. <laughs> you just, said, uh, have the sun <laughs> pay you. Um, so if you're looking for a new roof or solar, uh, give them a call. It's securedroofingandsolar.com. I mean, that's a million dollar idea. Yeah, there you go. See? Talking business. Hey, talking business. Mm-hmm. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Some people in the chat room asking about that last song. That was Cherry Glazer with Eat You Like a Pill. Welcome <gasps> back. Oh, my God. She has a new album out today. Very, very good if you like the alternative rock and roll. Yeah. Mm, let's do some dump them out. All right, buddy. Let me yeah. The Didn't we skip it? Bottom mix. You would think that I would know this where this button is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do it. <laughs> it's about your boobs. Everybody. I love boobs. <laughs> we got two many topics Woo! Motherfucking show. <laughs> so come One day Tom will sing with you. Tom just got very uncomfortable because our guest shook her boobs. Hey, I'm not getting uncomfortable. Dump, dump them out. Do it. <laughs> come on. Dump them out brought to you by the Orange County Regional History Center. Yeah. Um, buddy. Where they're doing their Sam Rivers event uh, Saturday, October 7th, uh, next weekend. And that's basically to uh, celebrate a jazz legend that lived in yeah. uh, Central yeah. Florida. Do yourself a favor. Easiest way to educate yourself on Sam Rivers. Uh, you could check out the uh, Regional History Center's website. Or you could just go to Spotify and type in Sam Rivers. Yeah. And you're going to be freaked out when you see like 30 to 40 different you know recordings that are there. And that's not even, that's not even the tip of the iceberg. And if you want to celebrate his life and the fact that... He spent a lot of his elder years in the Orlando area. Yeah, this finished, event finished is the event here. for you. Yeah, and I have a full panel, including his daughter. Yeah, uh, there's a concert at the Social later that night that Dan will be going yeah, to. Yeah, his manager, Greg, that was in here. Um, am I getting his name right? Or am I? Uh, anyway, he, uh, his manager uh, will be on that panel, and they will be answering all of your questions. Cool. And then they're going to finish it off with a little concert of uh, some of his music, which will be really, really great. We're doing a ticket giveaway for the concert on, oh, hell yeah. on Bungalore's Insta. I'm going to be out there. Okay. 
I saw you at the last concert. Yeah, yeah, man. I, 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 I like these events. It's a mediocre Whoa. time with Tom and Dan. Yeah, Shut it up. Is. It certainly <laughs> is. <laughs> is it better than a shit field? Uh, 100% uh, better. Yeah, yeah. What's, yeah. what's okay, more? I need every, yeah. you, you need to uh, yeah. explain it to me in the shit what field you're into. spectrum. Yeah. It is uh, It's real good. Um, it's, yeah, it's going to be nice. What the end we? of the motherfucking show. Singing it? All right, it's done. It's a work. What's the first one, Sam? Uh, Cameo. Oh, we yeah. want to talk about that you guys are on Cameo, and oh. now, uh, Tom, you have some kind of scheme that you're going right. to use yeah, the like, Cameo a, money it's for. It's a Cameo's Cameo. Okay. <laughs> ah, there it is. Yeah. 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 A, yeah. I don't know if this, yeah, is, okay. this is a, exactly legal, but I think it is. That's fine. Well, no, if we cares. make it a joke and say it's not real, then it's fine. Uh, it's real for, <laughs> for sure. I'm going to post it. It's real to me, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we're we're gonna me and Daniel are gonna get to one thousand yeah. dollars in our cameo. We have fifty five dollars now in our yeah. cameo. Yeah. Yeah. We've done yeah. three cameos. So, but here's the reason: yes. like, no one really. I feel like. You know, if you want us to say happy birthday we'll to do you, anything. you, I'll see you in public. Yeah. You're like, say happy birthday to me. Yeah, we we like, do it. We're the most approachable. Like, yeah. for anybody yeah. asks us, oh, will you make a video for my kid? You're yeah. like, we'll do anything for you. Because yeah. we're like, I think we enjoy doing this. Yeah. yeah. I got you on my OnlyFeed. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, probably, you probably could have got it for free if you just emailed us. <laughs> He's yeah. like, can you send us a video? But that day, right. that's over now because yeah, we're yeah, all yeah. camping. So, but it, you're not selling this very no, well. No, not anymore. <laughs> but anyway, but everybody, <laughs> even including the people who've already done it uh, on Cameo, if you buy a Cameo from us, once we get to 1000 yes. right? Uh, once we get to $1,000, yeah, 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 yeah. we're at $55 now, so we need you guys to sign. <laughs> Up fifty-five then, and I'm, get our cameo. So then I'm going to take that thousand, right? And uh, I'm going to bet it, uh, bet it all, yeah, uh, three times, yep. oh. right? One thousand to two thousand, two to four, and four, the four to eight, eight, right? And then if you win each time. Well, well, we're, yeah, there, well, we're yeah. saying I mean, we're going to yeah, win yeah, each yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, you know, so I, I, do, I, I, I do a lot you of were research. Because like, I was like, well, what if you lose the one? We're not going to. Yeah, 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 we're yeah, that yeah. confident. <laughs> now, check yeah, yeah, this out. Yeah. Okay. I, so yeah. we get the 8,000 uh-huh. that we've won uh-huh. and all these generous, you know, BDMs and listeners that have, you know, done these cameos or requested these cameos from us. Tell them what we're going to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. So then oh. everybody who were, got, you know, did the cameo. Yeah, we have a record on our funded phone. funded this. Yes. We'll, you believed in us. We'll get free access and special drink package. I don't even yeah. know what it is. But to <laughs> slam Hogapalooza. Slam Hogapalooza. Uh, 2024. What's yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know <laughs> yet. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll take I like a, the name. We're taking the $8,000. Yeah. We're then, doing Slam Hogapalooza. Rent out Cabana Live. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it's going to be. Appearances by Super Dave. And we're taking all the money that we want. Taco. And then putting it into the event, yep. and then we're going to put up a five thousand dollar cash prize yep. to Miss Slam Hog. Miss Slam Hog, uh, five thousand dollars. <laughs> What's Miss Slam Hog? You whatever. Gotta, I don't find out. Yeah, like a beauty whatever. queen pageant. It's like whatever a, you want. Yeah, it's the it's we're wet t shirt. Yeah. It's a uh, pudding. I have never <laughs> wanted a t shirt more. Uh, yeah, I'm going to compete. It's wrestling. I'm competing as Brenda. Uh, yeah, as Brenda. It's Brenda's going to yeah. whatever. Whatever. Five thousand cash. Yeah, I'm doing it. So we just got to get to the thousand first. I'll then, wrestle some bitches in coleslaw. <laughs> yeah, we'll do we'll it go. anything. Okay, so get all <laughs> me and Daniel, cameo. we decided. Uh, I'm a feminist. I'll I'll beat you up. <laughs> we just said fuck it. Yeah, we're just we're like we're gonna do lean it. into the slam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we're gonna. Uh, the, yeah, can we do the, the hog walla? I want everybody to hit send, the throttle when yeah. you're crashing. <laughs> exactly. I want everybody. If you're listening to this, send me a picture of your wife's sour titties, <laughs> and on, let's start on. a website of just all sourtitties.com. Sourtitties.com. Let's go crazy. Let's take this back to the. 90s, man. Uh, <laughs> Nobody was there. Uh, I said that and I was talking myself out yeah, actively yeah, yeah. as I was saying it. Now, if Nobody I lose my bets, I, uh, yeah. we're going to do nothing. I can't wait. <laughs> what a great idea. Yeah, uh, we have great ideas. Yeah. yeah. All right. What's next on our great idea uh, list? Speaking of sourtitties.com, the next thing on our list is knockedupandnaked.com. Oh, yeah. They keep getting, they keep trying to trick me knocked into buying up this. Knocked up and naked? It, right here. They keep trying to trick me into buying this. It's from the, this is the, this is the um, marketing. It just says marketing what? services from domain networks. That's how like <laughs> generic. That's how not generic it real. is. No, this isn't real. And it, and they send this to me, and they send it to me once a year, and they they want me to buy <laughs> that one specifically. And it says, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. well, they try to trick you. They try to trick you into thinking you already own it, right? Oh. So they say, oh, it's time for You're you to pay for your pregnant porn. Yeah, it's like it's time for you to pay for your <laughs> annual website domain <laughs> listing. Two hundred eighty nine dollars. We can buy mm-hmm. and redirect to it. Knocked up and naked. 
dot com. There we go. Well, you <laughs> Let, know, me dad, Let me buy that. Let me buy it. My no, dad no. used to always say, you know, pregnant ladies are hot because you know they do it. <laughs> That's pretty good. I, I, I like yeah. the logic. I like right. that too. Yeah, Canadian not logic. Real uh, <laughs> and, and they'll accept the cream pie. <laughs> yeah, they will. True. Yeah. Or not be safe. Yeah, to, yeah you, you don't know, have to pull yeah. out. Yeah. They've already done it. Like, anyway. They'll accept uh, a cream pie. <laughs> that counts. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you need. Your whole biology. Also, Dan, you infiltrated the granny site. Oh yeah, yeah. Here, yeah, yeah. Okay. I am well, wait. Are you going to get the pregnant site? No. I mean, why would they? Why are they sending that to Daniel? They're trying let's to trick me it. into buying it. They think did we're you, really. Let's stupid. do it. We can is use it in your algorithm. To... Yeah. Did you look at? And no. Did, we have another one on my desk too. That is for just. They want me to buy Tom and Dan. Oh. Dot com. Well, T o m a n d a n dot com. Why knocked up and naked? No idea. <laughs> but that no could idea. be. We could get that, and then we could use. Artificial intelligence to generate images of nude pregnant women <laughs> and become rich. <laughs> well, well, there we go. This All guy's right. an idea guy well, over what here. Are, what is it? A pay site? Uh, like yeah. it sounds like a pay site, right? Yeah. Knocked up at naked dot com. And then we'll use the money as part of the prize package. When I win, I mean, I, I only have when I until, wrestle bitches in coleslaw. I only have until October fifteenth to do this at the two eighty nine. Hmm. Do you think we have pregnant listeners that would send pictures of themselves, explicit pictures 100%. of themselves? Not all listeners, you. but I know where to get them. The fairgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see them this weekend. The fairgrounds are <laughs> going. I can just go there and I'll find a knocked up and naked person. Okay, that's that's gonna be sad, sad though. Uh, and that's going to be a charity site. They're going to be running that's crazy. Be a charity site. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What if they're tasteful? Dude? Dudes. No, nah, I mean, nobody okay. likes Facebook. Yeah, 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 I, I remember know. as a young boy, I like knew that. that. As like a young boy, I remember once I saw it wide open, I never wanted to go back. I was <laughs> like, I, like then I saw like just titties, and I was like, well, where's the wide open? Oh, come on. Where's the, <laughs> where's the meat? <laughs> well, the, 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 the curtains. Yeah, what? what? Oh, what's next, Sam? Uh, up the granny here. site? Did you want to talk oh, about yeah. it Oh, yeah. i got to pull up my screenshots. Oh my I did this on like, my phone. So is this a granny porn site, yeah, too? Yeah, Okay, so... Well, they advertise here, it here, I us. went through the granny site. i got to be careful. I can't put this up for people to see. So you wanted to go through the granny site. Dugout. I finally found the old granny ad popped up. You know how yeah. hard it is to find the granny ad or the Sanford <laughs> weed guy when you want to find him? Do I ever. If you want to find the guy that goes, <laughs> if you're looking for the best weed in Sanford, Florida, look no further than Chronic guru, like I haven't memorized because I masturbate a lot. <laughs> You're so, masturbating to it. No, no, no. Oh, I that's just, the ad. Yeah, it's just the ad. So oh. you can't find that guy. When Do you, you get need. that ad, Brendan? No. Do you get the grannies? Just, Do you get the ugly granny? No. And I'm picturing what ad you pulling get? his patch to some marijuana no, no. Hold salesman, on. Brendan. What, I assume that what? you've uh, looked at the videos <laughs> they yeah. got online. You watch right? porn? porn? Oh yeah, yeah. No. I don't know. Okay. No. So what yeah. ads are you? I have an Oculus. Of course I've seen porn. Yeah. Old, are you seeing old grandpas? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like They're called mature. <laughs> what if, he, what old what if they did that to him? What I if they know. were like, because well, you would get, they, no, you would get the ad. Works. You would get uh, the ad. I get an ad. Tom gets an ad. It pops up and it's no. like, do you want to fuck ugly grannies in your neighborhood? No. And I'm like, yeah. do you get, do you want to fuck ugly grandpas? No, in? I get uh, uh, furry ones sometimes. Oh. I've never got the furry. Me neither. Um, it's all over the place, man. Yeah. I've never gotten any grannies. No, I get ugly grannies just like you, buddy. I'm just like you. Yeah. Well, but then I put a poll up on the BDM page, and lots of people are like, mm. I get it too. But a I'm, lot of people mm. said they did it. No, I know. So, digital, I, saw, I saw a digital minotaur one. Not too. Digital what? minotaur? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, like it's like a video game. It's like Sam's. But oh, yeah, fucking, you get the video game ones. But yeah. it's like, and there's like werewolf ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got a digital werewolf fucking <laughs> <laughs> minotaur. Digital werewolf dick. Yeah. So that's, and there's well, a that's poor little. The and there's, and there's a poor quick, the There's a poor, like, Quickie Mart guy, like, who's, like, between them. Oh, that's racist. The Quickie Mart guy. <laughs> Apu? <laughs> Apu is fucking a werewolf. <laughs> I don't want to watch that. Leave Apu alone. That's a fucking I'm not clicking on him. Fucked up racist. No, I'm not clicking on him. What's going on? Pretty one. It's a werewolf. I don't I'll, watch I'll it. I'll poo for the substance. But if the ad is there when I'm trying, waiting for my other thing, if it's right, there, right, I'll right. look at the ad because I'm like, what are they doing? Oh, I can't breathe. Man? Now I'm even more confused. <laughs> I have tears in my eyeballs. Uh, okay, so and I, they say I, it's like a choose your own adventure. So like, I who click, would choose that? I clicked, <laughs> I clicked it. Okay, I yeah. did it. And I can't put it on the main computer. She looks like a hot granny. But it, yeah, not bad. So oh, I, she is a hot I granny. clicked the ugly granny's ad. It came up. Yeah. I, found, I found it one time. I clicked it as fast. As I could, uh-huh. I was on my laptop, 
And then it go and then I was taking screenshots. She's for sure got herpes though. So this lady, it says, this is not a dating site. It redirects to hotsexpartners.com. It says, this is not a dating site. You will simply choose a woman and ask to fuck. Oh. Okay, all right. So then I click. It says, please keep the identity a secret. And I, I said, okay. Oh, it's like. They're so then sex the, workers? So then the next one, it goes to the next screen it goes to. It says, important, before we can show you a list and photos of women who live near you and are ready to have sex right now, we need, your we need to card. ask yeah. you three quick questions to make sure you qualify. Okay. Continues. <laughs> I right. clicked continue. Question one. <laughs> you ready? God damn. <laughs> many, are we answering them? Yeah, yeah. Well, I did. I'll tell you what okay. I did. It's uh, Many of these women are desperate single moms <laughs> and cheating wives looking for some fun. Yeah. <laughs> they could be your neighbors or someone you know. Do Ooh. you agree to Hit keep lady. the identity of these women a secret? And, of course, I'm a gentleman, <laughs> so right. I said yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'll keep your secrets, Granny. <laughs> I said yes. Uh, <laughs> if, even if you click no, it'll still go. Yeah, I <laughs> Both buttons can yeah. continue. Yeah. <laughs> Question. And two, these women have oh, no. asked us to not allow men that are seeking a, quote, relationship, oh. end quote. They only desire quick sex. Oh, no no dating. <laughs> All right, well, that's what I want. <laughs> Do you agree to this This is request? why you're getting the ends. Do you agree to this <laughs> Yeah, request? of course. Yeah, yes, that's what no. I want. By the way, I was falling for this hook, line, and sinker. I was like, I was all in. I was like, this is fucking great. <laughs> I don't need another old crow. Yeah, no strings attached. All right, question <laughs> three. You I've like made it. I'm, I'm already. You like old titties? I do like old titties. <laughs> I like the wrinkles in them sometimes. It Let looks, me take my teeth out. It looks like a bag of water you put out to keep the flies Ooh. away. Um, are you at least, question three, are you at least 24 years old? Fuck the, yeah. The women have requested that we not let those younger than 24 contact them beca- because of past rude behavior of younger men. <laughs> I was like, yeah, these fucking jits. Whippersnappers. Yeah, and so I said yes. Okay. Then, oh, I can't show that. Then it oh. popped up. I can show Tom. Okay. Oh, it, titties? it pops up a skinny girl with little titties. <laughs> a regular. It, 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 it says, oh, you're what? choosing. It, yeah. It says, What's your what, body type? What type of body do you prefer? Choose up to three answers. So I chose three. What you were your go, answers? You could go skinny, regular, BBW, big tits are a must, or What's, sexy ass is a must. <laughs> What's okay. BBW? A, must. a big, beautiful woman. Oh, that's nice. I think that's what that's it is. That's what I am nice in drag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went, <laughs> I went skinny, regular, and big tits are a must. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. Um, and then it, and then it gave me this one. It says, how old do you like your women? Choose up to three answers. 18 to 25, 26 to 35, 36 to 45, 46 to 55, or 55 plus. I just did the first three because I'm not an idiot. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I did 18 to 25, 26 to 35, and 36 but to 45. But old ladies. You didn't do the old ladies? No, 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 because I don't really want old ladies. Oh. <laughs> um, then it goes to what type of relationship are you looking for? Then it has a picture of a so woman. this is a census data <laughs> collection. <laughs> is it? And I'm really going through. What? By the way, my daughter was reading her Sunshine State <laughs> book beside me while Jesus. I'm filling out this form. And then it says, what type of relationship are you looking for? A one-night stand, which is just a lady laying on her back with the dicks in her face. Se- <laughs> sex on multiple occasions. That's a girl sucking a dick. Then Regular sex is a girl holding her ankles. Serious dating or marriage. So I went one night stand. I just went with okay, the standard uh, one night stand. Distance between you and her. Choose up to three. Within walking. I was God like, how damn. the fuck you can do that? <laughs> Same city. Nearby remind cities me, remind are okay. me to tell you about that. Same country. You know, there's something I need to tell oh, okay. you. Okay. <laughs> or does it matter? And I did walking distance because I thought that would be awesome. She's at your mailbox right now. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I got to there, and the reason I how uh, many sugar? I don't have a screenshot of the next part because it did that weird thing where it goes to <laughs> a, like, an so unclickable window, the <laughs> one that can no one uh, shut down. No one's ever got this one. <laughs> <laughs> like, Someone God. in the chat is right. Like, Jason, <laughs> Jason Bourne is infiltrating. <laughs> yeah, the People government. The government's got he's you. In, he's in. In the chat, someone said I thought it was three questions. Only that was more than three. No, I, I kept going through it. So did yeah, what it did. Lies. After the first question, we stealing her from. Yeah, yeah, that's what they get. You. And no one's ever gotten to the ninth one. There's nothing else. They're like, what do we do now? Do you know who you're dealing with? It's Doctor Slamhog. He's in the system. No, I, I got there, and then it did the thing where it pops up, and it says like VPN problem, blah blah blah, and you can't shut it out, and it's like, and I'm, and I'm like, oh, you shut it out. Yeah, 
Google. And I'm like, X, 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 X. And then I had to do the thing where I had to like hold down and then swipe Google Chrome away <laughs> yeah, and kill yeah. it. Yeah. And then <laughs> reopen it and go to CNN.com. <laughs> <laughs> but every time I swipe it away, I'm like, is it still back? <laughs> I think it's still back. Yeah. I mean, is it in the universe of my phone? My phone just said I had 99 crazy. tabs open. And I was like, how did God, that happen? I don't even know because I thought I was closing them, but apparently they were living in tab land. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, they're oh, in man. the background. Oh. I had no idea. Yeah. God, you're like gay tops. Like that's, his oh. phone is always yeah. working on everything at all times. The the walkable yes, distance please, thing. Please, yes. Someone came up to me at Bingo and showed me their phone. It's a dick map. It's called, s- s- can I say this? Yeah. yeah. Sniffies. I didn't know. <laughs> Sniffies <laughs> is the name of it. It's a dick app. Bro. It's an app, but it's also you can just put it in your browser, and it's a live like Google map of dicks around you, like the, and you can okay. me- and it's I'm just dicks. In. It's all the dicks, Sam. Look, are you ready? It, yeah, and make called, sure I'm not on. The app is called Sniffies. Sniffies, and you, then and then or I, you can go to sniffies.com. I'm using it anonymously. Me too. Me too. <laughs> And what are you going to put on there? You got to put your dick I on I just want to look at them. Oh. Is it like people to go, like, they're to ready? Fuck. And then they put themselves and on And it's a- mostly anonymous. So, like, most of the, like, you're not going to, people, if you ask oh, for, like, what if, face what if, photos, they don't like doing that. What if you go to meet up just based off the dick pic, and then it's somebody you do know? That, yeah, that could happen. Oh, Whoa! It's like your friend that's yeah, married look or at something. that dude. It's just dicks all around Orlando. Oh, I'm yes. in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. There's ass, assless chaps and dicks everywhere. Everywhere. Look at this guy. This guy. Are they just walking around? Oh, my God. This guy's right coming, right this guy's coming towards the studio. Movie. There's one coming like, to the studio. Lock the door. If like, they're in their cars, it, like, moves. Yeah. And then when you find them, you're like, hey. <laughs> What's sniffing? going on, Sniffy? What's the code? Is it, you start look, sniffing? Look, that guy. That guy's driving down Virginia Drive. Oh, my goodness. Is yeah, there there's a, some big automobiles a, on Sniffy's. Uh, Good lord. These I ideas. know. Wow. I'm kind of obsessed. I told Scotty, I was like, you need to look at this with me. And he okay. got disgusted and the, left the room. Can you ask me? I, I, I can I ask you a question? Yeah. Oh, man. Are, are some. Uh, this, there, it wide. Yeah, there's a guy spreading <laughs> it wide. That's Busting what I'm. it wide open. And he's riding down the road. Like, there's a, a spread of, spread <laughs> ass just going <laughs> yeah. down Virginia Drive. Is it. When you find them, they're. Gay they're people like, are trash. Trash. Can you. Can you. Wave them all. You're like, oh hey, my God. I found you. I yeah, you message him. You message him. No oh, snip backs. No snip backs. <laughs> okay, then you say, let's go to this. Yeah, um, you're like, look up. And then he looks up and you're like, <laughs> Hold on, I think I recognize one of these. But, but yeah. then you pull oh, no. over and you Is start me? doing it. <laughs> How do you? Where do you go? Jesus Christ! There Brendan, are a lot of big me. dicks in this. Well, I don't know. This is a life I'd like you to live. If want I want to, oh I got one of them. It, one of the Hold pictures. On. One of the icons. What are those called? Avatars. Uh-huh. Is a man upside down <laughs> sucking a dick. The gravitron. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> upside down. Amazing. Yeah, wow. came too quick to your head. <laughs> that came too quick. That's, well, that's a move. What do you mean? When this, you hold the statue right next to you, yeah, Brandon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you hold. It. Oh God! If you it's click a, on it, it gives you. It's the standing sixty nine. Is the gravitron? Oh, this guy's got that dog mask on that you wore at Fair Villa. <laughs> oh, puppies. Well, uh, or puppies. that's Tom on Sniffies. <laughs> <laughs> they like to poop on the floor, and then you're like, bad this, uh, puppies. This so, grotto pool looks very familiar. Yeah, there. Are, I mean, I'm, I'm virtually certain I can figure out who everybody is on Sniffy's. Oh, that's good, Brendan. Breaking news. I, I'm I'm just kind of unpacking it still. Yeah. I was very surprised. Hey, I, I see, see what you did. Because they fun. just got rid of the apps. It's no yeah. longer just lists of Man. people. Oh, they, they, they uh, list whether they're cut or not? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Cut, yeah. uncut, yeah. how uncut. big they are, how wide they are. Oh, that's a Vayner. Okay, um, yeah, what's some, next? Yeah, there's some Vayners on there. <laughs> what are we got here? AJR on No Grass Today lyrics. No, oh, okay. Thanks yeah, for so helping me Do you still want to talk about that? Uh, well, uh, real quick. So Max likes the music in the family, and he likes this pop uh, artist named AJR. I guess the, 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 group, all the brothers, yeah. the group is called AJR, yeah. and they're, they're brothers or whatever. Anyway, uh, I don't know how he found it, but that's all he wants to listen to. So we listen to AJR on the way to breakdancing every day, whatever. And so he's learned all the lyrics to the songs, and one of the songs is called No Grass Today. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's, it's basically... I didn't about marijuana? Sm- it's about marijuana. It's like, I didn't smoke no grass today. Huh. It's just like, I don't know what else. Then so Max is singing it lo- out loud because he likes to sing the lyrics. And then I'll... Oh, yeah, if yeah, he's yeah. into breakdancing, he's going to be learning about marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to happen. How old is he? He is eight. Eight. 
I gotta get off Sniffies. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Isn't it crazy? It is. I was having a beer with my friends looking at Sniffies the other day. That we were just looking at it. <laughs> so, back to Sniffies for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sniffies is pretty much taken over the show. <laughs> do you, then, is it right then and there, or do you go on I don't know, some sort of uh, I think it depends later? on what you want. Like, like, do they have orgy meetups in there? But can you tell the person, like, right now, uh, yeah, is they're available in, in, yeah. The, in the abandoned parking lot? Yeah. Uh, okay, so you, in my car, because my wife's home. Like, yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Oh, okay. So I'm using it currently anonymously. Uh-huh, so uh-huh. I think Which I they can. Like. I can click on people and then like. Okay, so this one. Okay, I got one, Tom. Right, this I'm is three miles back away. Up, I guess we're back in. Uh, we're, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're back in the snippy. This one is three miles away. Eleven cruisers confirmed, including the host. This it's, is the orgy. Yeah, it's called Pump and Dump. Hold, hold it's a, pump and Dump. <laughs> hosting a. Do you pump know what that is? And, hosting a pump and dump at my place. I, that's taking one person. Taking dick all what? night. Hold on, what, uh, Brendan, hold on. Tell me what pump and dump oh, is. Oh, this is person. a picture of a this penis is a in a butthole. This is I a lot. This might out. make people hate gay people. But, but, uh, but a pump, that's one person who just wants as much dick as possible. Okay. Pump and dump. So then, like, 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 take him, have your way, and leave, and then the next guy comes in. And that's what he wants. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wait, he... Which is a great way to get an STD. <laughs> you just want to you know, lay on the bed and get pumped? Yeah. yeah and then they want the person to leave. As a, and is, he stays there the whole time, but it's just like a How lineup. long is this going uh, on? As long as he could... God, I think I could only do about it. two dumps. And then I'm like, <laughs> guys, I'm out. I mean, it's been fun. Well, I thought I could do more. Right no, I'd mind. rather yeah. play Baldur's <laughs> Gate 3. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could do more <laughs> than one or two <laughs> dumps. Also, <laughs> if I'm in the line, I'll be like, well, when did this start? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, what's your number? How much time do I got? What are you? Are you 14? All right, I'm out of here. Did this start in the morning? Aren't you tired? And you can't ask him. He doesn't know. Aren't you tired? I brought you some Gatorade and soup from two. Well, your, uh, I can't. Well, that's what he wants, but I'm just saying, I don't know yeah. how many other dumps Wouldn't you rather I just have to, uh, a burrito? Oh, <laughs> yeah. my God. Like, you're like, you're one like, of them's <laughs> just a butthole. That's what I said. It's just a dick <laughs> in a butthole. No, this is oh. just This was too much. I never should have told you about Sniffies. I regretted it. Oh, no, it's great. We've taken back the fight years. Like, <laughs> like I mean, this a one, selfie, yeah. This is why the governor hates us. Okay, hold on. This one right here that's extremely graphic. This is today. My God, you got to bleach that thing, sir. This is today at 5.30. Uh, 37 cruisers confirmed. So this is going to be a big party. This is a fun Econa Lodge pump and dump. Is that the Econa Lodge on Lee Road? Open-minded people have fun all night taking dick crazily in DP sessions. Tag team is hot, too. Of course, no other bottoms. Feel free to unload as many times as you want and come back for second rounds. Here's my Twitter. Be advised. Others can be there. Please, not too many questions. Just come do your thing. Come (laughs) only if you're playing. If no, please don't not. Do not bring friends. This would be good for me. Do not bring a picnic. I would have no questions. Do not pass. Go. (laughs) I wouldn't ask You're questions. the guy. Like, I know. Oh, and one of them's got his little PP dog next to his dick. I saw that one. <laughs> That's not okay. Well, if oh, I, I, don't put your dog in the dog. No. Your dog didn't sign up for that. If I showed up, I'm like, I know what's going on. No question. No, you wouldn't even say a word. You yeah, would just yeah, open yeah, the like, door, I, walk I, in, pass down, out, dump, 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 and out the door. Yeah. Also, what a time yeah. to be alive. Like, for yeah. real. <laughs> you, really? You used to have to go to the airport and tap your shoe. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But this is a shit when I see people's bumper stickers and say love. Love is love is love. I'm like, I'll be honest. Most of these guys, it should just say dump and stump. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want stickers to say? Dump and stump. I'll see it snippies. <laughs> Wait, let's do a shirt. You know, let's do a Bucky shirt. What's the Bucky's look at? Let's do snippies. <laughs> Men are trash. <laughs> <laughs> All dumps created. <laughs> All dumps are God didn't make no dumps. <laughs> yeah, dump it out. <laughs> dump, Goodness. dump, dump it out. <laughs> Home Lobo dump and snippies. Okay. Uh, what's next? Right. Let's Holy smokes. But, uh, but you, honestly, so think about how hard it used to be if you just wanted to pump and dump. Like, you'd have to go to a park. <laughs> you know and hope that the other yeah, person yeah, was dude, into could, it. No, you could get and you still go into parks. But you're like, is that a murder? Up and hurt, you right? want the pump and, and dump? You still right. can, I'm yeah, sure, rolling but. fag. No, yeah. no, but, yeah. I'm, but I'm saying, like, now with technology, it's so much safer. Like, you know, it's like you have to go to a dark park yeah. back like, in the 70s. It's kind of crazy, though. You see some guy sitting there. You're like, does he want the pump and dump? Are you here for the pump? You can see one cigarette light in the corner. 
yeah. was so much more sketchy. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, but I think it made you, you harder. You seem to know a lot about park hooking up. Well, yeah, well no, I'm just <laughs> he saying. He a lot of parks. He, he, he brings made, it up a lot, and he does go to a lot of parks. I remember, I remember talking to Wanzi about this, and he's like, you know, uh, like gay people, gay men were uh, yeah. like they were tougher back in the day. Now it's so much easier than they used to, than, boop, uh, boop, than they, you know. And sometimes people aren't Dude. even horny. They're just lonely and bored. Yeah, yeah, I mean, tonight at 8 p.m., there's a gay bukkake party. <laughs> no, there's Hell not. Yeah. It's it's yeah. right here. Look, it says, Come fest for all comers, up to 40 guys, send body shot and cock pics. 40 people are going to poop on it? 15 <laughs> guy maximum at one time. Not poop. Uh, they're going to whack They're going to jack No, no, no. That's not bukkake. No, that's not bukkake. That's not No. Oh, no. 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 Am I talking to my grandma or pumping <laughs> up? <laughs> How do you not know what the fuck are you? Man? What is bukkake? How do you not know what uh, bukkake means? Poo. No, no, no. Poo. that's scatting. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bukkake is cum. Lots of cum. Come on your face. Yeah, the yeah. showers of it, Brendan. Yeah. Don't showers you know? <laughs> How do you know about sniffies and the whole thing? <laughs> what did you just learn about sniffies? I can't just learn about sniffies. Why do I have a feeling you'll be standing in the mud field surfing sniffies? Because you're so bored. You're so bored and mad. I wonder who's going to be fucking over here. And you're just looking at it. I mean, I'll tell there you, there could never it's be not a, s- a bad. It's not bad toilet uh, at service, the library. You know? yeah. there, there could never be a sniffies for straight people no. because, like, one girl makes one post. <laughs> there's eight thousand <laughs> <laughs> creepos. <laughs> like, we're, I think dri- that's tender. <laughs> driving yeah. like Mad Max to get there mm-hmm. uh, to be aggressive. <laughs> anyway, that being said, if any of y'all think I'm cute, slip into my Instagram hey. DMs. You got a sniffies? Yeah. No. Oh, oh my god. god. Snuffies. Oh, what if I put my you know what I'm gonna do? When they ban me, what if I put my dog on Snuffies? Oh, no. Just his little cute face no, no, and you no. just see him driving People around Orlando. Might be into, you might get some weird DMs. No, that's true. Yeah, that's don't true. do it. Don't do I'm it. I'm gonna put a stunt dick on there and just troll. Do you want to um, go over the seven song? You, or should no, I, I don't know. I should we move on to Tommy's <laughs> ticket system? <laughs> no, all right, well, I guess, yeah, we could uh, talk about this. So um, <laughs> my son, Tommy, uh, I, I realized he's doing a thing that I do, and it makes me proud, but also sad that I didn't like tell him he should do this this way or right. treat like, uh, like or try to help him to be a normal, normal human being. Well, he is normal. So, well, I'm just saying he has a fear of uh, disappointing people or hurting their feelings. Sure. He just doesn't like to do that. So he'll do whatever do anybody else from? wants to do. He's like, what do you want to do? Whatever you want to do. Yeah, like yeah. He doesn't, he's a, you know. And now he's going to see no effects. <laughs> yeah. And so he, I noticed like there like was a, no effects. he pinned yeah, a schedule yeah. to his wall that said like one cousin's name Monday, another cousin's name Tuesday, a friend's name Thursday. Okay. And then I was like, I was like, what is this schedule, Tommy? And he's like, this is uh, the phone schedule of when I play Roblox with what individual person because they all wanted to play at the same time. And he's giving them equal time. And then I didn't oh, want to... I didn't, that's a good friend. That's sweet, dude. Uh, well, no, because he, but he didn't want to tell them, like, no, he's like, he's, he's like, that's not your day. Tuesday's your day. It's not my fault. It's the system. And then so... It keeps it organized and it passes the buck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. he's so popular. And, well, it's not even that. It's he's that sweetheart. He can't tell the person... Uh, I see what you're saying. He's, he blames, but he figured it out a on, way to do it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it, it, which is exactly what you would have done. That, I think that's great. Same thing with Max. Tom is Sle- a better friend than I am. Sleeping. No, well, it's if you're a normal person, you're just like, hey, you know, I'm talking to this person. You could tell people, but he has to develop some sort of system and blame. Sim- similar to uh, Impossible Task. I'm like, not hey, you're bad at your job, you're fired. Yeah, it's hey, you could work here, but you have to do. Something Something that in my mind, no way in hell is happening. <laughs> and then, the and then when it, when yeah, we've then, talked about that before. And then when it when they don't do it, and then it's inevitable that they, right. they can't work here anymore. Right. And then I'm it's not your way of blaming the system. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And he's doing that. But he does it with Max. He, like there's a ticket system that he has. Like that he wrote ticket and ripped up a piece of paper. And Max gets two a week to sleep in his bed if he wants because Max likes to. This kid is organized, <laughs> man. God damn. But, but after Max gives his, both his tickets because Tommy. Doesn't want it. He wants to sleep by himself, and he's told me, but he didn't want to tell Max that to hurt his feelings. Uh, so he's like, "You get he's two finding tickets." Finding workarounds. Or work I think, around I think or lo- but I think you're looking at this negatively, and I think this is no. actually uh, yeah. good. I, I think it makes I'm, him a smarty pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm super proud. I that love you're, it. But it is, and bl- it's good time management. He's but like, it, no, Monday is for uh, my cousin. But, Tuesday. But it also is blaming a system you created uh, with one, instead of saying it's like <laughs> right. it could like, cause an issue though. So like, you want a little bit of both. You want the gumption or the control. 
or whatever that feeling is, you know, the, you know, outspokenness yeah. to be able to go, hey, I'm sorry, this isn't your day. I'm doing it with this kid, but hey, I'll, I'll see you another day and be yeah. okay with that. It, it's a roundabout way to not blame yourself, but you made the system, so it's you. Yeah, right? but they <laughs> don't know that. But they like, don't know you that. came up with this impossible You're not task. Telling people that. Is right. there freedom to have them all together at once? Is that a. What do you mean? It becomes like, too much from what Maisie says when you have everybody call in and you're uh, okay. doing it. Then At you least for her, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, what apparently, is this again? Roblox. It's what kids are playing nowadays. Uh, it's garbage. It's, it's essentially FaceTime while you're playing a simplistic video game. Okay. That uh, is, is, is user created. So it's a bunch of simple video games cool. that you play with your friends. Metaverse. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, I mean, they're in the internet. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, they're not outside. They're all sniffies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all the internet. Like, they're hanging out with their friends on the internet. They're not going outside and hanging out with their friends. I can't wait real. to put sniffies on my wife's yeah. uh, business computer. <laughs> like, I can't uh, wait. I can't uh, wait. Um, what uh, what should we end with? Um, let's get a little something. Let's just look at a little something. Do you want to? Oh, what's a Starfield? Does uh, Brendan? Know oh, about well, that Brendan, you're playing video games. You're playing Baldur's Gate. I'm right? playing Baldur's Gate. That's my game right now. Baldur's Gate. I can't what play it yet because it's going to be on Xbox. I think in uh, it's called November, Baldur's but Gate. I will be playing it. It's in November. T- like it's an RPG. Yeah, and it's it, like Dungeons and Dragons. I'm playing Starfield, which again, I guess which is, also, is amazing. Well, it's good, but it's it's wonky, and it is also a role playing game that you know you you. Oh. Walk around. You just posted that you like the wonkiness. I do like it. Starfield is huge. You're a, a I'm a, a bounty hunter, like a, like a smuggler bounty hunter guy. Okay. Smugglers. I have a ship, and I just kind of go and solve missions. I take. I talk like to a Mandalorian. People. It's very Mandalorian. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's very Mandalorian. You fly different places, you fight people. Sometimes you do, but a lot of times a lot of diplomacy. There's a lot of talking your way out of things and trying Ooh. to pick the right. Can you sleep uh, may, with your friends? May, like in you Baldur's can. Gate? You can fuck people, but it's not graphic like Baldur's Gate. Like this is very because I just fucked tame. a bear. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's, that's what, let, let's it, go to Brendan. Well, now story. your porn <laughs> algorithm makes sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where, are, where, Wait. Where's the, <laughs> where's the fighting and the laser guns? You do shoot. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> fight, but there's a lot of diplomacy. There's a lot of like, you're flying to indoor to do some light politics. Yeah. Uh, exactly. <laughs> you fly to a place and you go in and you try to persuade a person using words. To do something you want, and if they don't do it, then you kill them. That's <laughs> okay, the game. Right there. But there's laser shooting and guns. I, Maisie doesn't like to play it that way. We're playing it sort of together. <laughs> she likes to talk things problems out. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I mean, she Problem likes solving. it. It's less graphic, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. So uh, she's like her mom's. You fucking nerd. Boulder Dash. <laughs> what is it? Balder. <laughs> Balder Dash. Oh. Boulder's B-A- Gate. B L D U R. Balder. Yeah. Okay. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate three. It's what a is town. It? Baldur's Gate's a town. It's it's like uh it's Dungeons and Dragons. You're you're like you're out there building up your characters and solving fantasy crimes. I don't know. Fantasy crimes. Yeah. Like I have uh you, you can be anything. You can be like a dwarf or <laughs> solving an elf fantasy and... crimes. <laughs> Did you see the worst thing he, he, like he blacked that's out? That's worse than a mudfield. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have been, uh, stand in a mudfield than solve <laughs> fantasy crimes. It's fun. And you can sleep with all of your companions. There's a vampire guy that everybody's in love with, a, a starian and he like is that the one that everyone says look like Spike from Buffy? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. he does. He does look yes. like Spike from Buffy. And he like he was the first guy that I slept with because he right. like falls in love with your character. You let him bite you. You know, and then it gets, mm. then it develops, and there's like this a, is how oh, video games are now. There's what a wizard mean? guy. Well, you, with you bang them. Sex. You bang uh, like a kind of because you're just like you're. It's like your relationship with them builds. The more shit you do together, like the more you're using the yeah. characters. It actually this is in Starfield too. They fall in build. love with you, men, women. Yeah. Like I've got one guy they on my ship. They don't have to. They don't have to. You goddamn gay inside the internet. What happened? What happened to Marble Madness? Oh it was God. a simple marble. <laughs> you know, going down. And you know what? Can't the hardest game of all time. You know what? You can't fuck a marble. There's no holes. Have you no fell from you? <laughs> you haven't been to Thailand then, sir. <laughs> and you go marble around down. the obstacle course. If you fell off something yeah. too high, and a marble will break. No, it's it's so simple. Fun. Now you're going to go so make fun. out with a vampire. You, you don't, don't have to, though. You can turn it down. Yeah, you can turn you it can, down. You don't have to. It's just like how you're interacting with them and how you talk to them. And if you talk to them, sexy, then they talk sexy back, yeah. and it builds characters. I got a guy yeah. that's falling in love with me 
money on my ship, but I don't want him. So you know what I did? I fired him from the ship and I sent him away. Because he's a homo? <laughs> no, no. I just, I, I don't know. I don't think, yeah, yeah. It was a little, well, I'm playing. I said, no homo. homo. I'm, I'm playing as, a, as an alt-right bounty hunter right now. Oh. And I have no time for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm right, very yeah. focused on my. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're working Mandalorian mask stuff. with yeah. horns. Yeah. <laughs> it's, got, it's got the fuzzy. <laughs> the antlers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's in a bison. Yeah, Jeez. No, I just, I don't want to do any of that. I want to her I got to get on Sniffy's. <laughs> Uh, 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 this is the worst amount of damage we've done in a, in a hot minute. Yeah. What's happening on Mungalore and the bus? So many <laughs> things are happening. So, so John's gone. He's in Europe doing Europe stuff with his wife because he get makes a million work. dollars a year now. Yeah, get to work, uh, John. But Mungalore, it's crazy. We have a coffee. We're releasing a coffee. Uh, a coffee. Like releasing a coffee. Coffee. <laughs> 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 we're I gotta get better talking about that. <laughs> uh, with Lobos, Lobos coffee roasters. Oh, okay. They're uh, good. And we're gonna have mushrooms in them. So it's it's called functional coffee. Wait, so it's what good. What kind for of you. mushrooms? Like, uh, not uh, psilocybin. Uh, okay. okay. But like reishis and lion's mane stuff. Stuff that like oh builds your brain. They not call right. it functional <laughs> coffee. So we're releasing that soon. So not the awesome one. <laughs> 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 sorry. We have a beer coming out with tactical brewing. It's called a uh, Brenda Stanky Danky. Oh, dude, wow. you're getting your own beer. Are you? F- That's awesome. I'll be on the label. Awesome, I'm really excited. You gotta be, dude. That's, I know. I'm really happy for you. They That's said, fantastic. "What do you want to do? Like, what would your beer taste like?" And I said, "It needs to smell like marijuana. Like the well, minute you crack it open, I want everybody to think someone's smoking weed." In the room, those are my favorite beers. Are the ones that smell like hops? Yeah, they're so they're cousins, and I love the smell of hops. And so they're yep. doing tactical brewing. They're wizards. We just did it. And that'll be ready for they be, Pride. They so it's really going to be beer. their Pride beer release. And I'll be on the can. I'm very excited about that. Cool, man. Yeah, yeah, you pour the first sip out on someone, then run out the room. Then, <laughs> 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 There's talk of maybe having glitter in the keg ones. Okay. Yeah, but we, you know they can't do it in the cans because it'll fuck up their machines, and there'll be glitter in every beer that they do. I think we did for that. For that <laughs> the old oh, dust. Shit. At, uh, that true? Yeah, that's why yeah, we, we shut up. Yeah. Did you do Uh-oh. it? Oh yeah, we did. We did gold. gold oh yeah. Oh, it fucks up their machines for sure. We're out of business. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. <laughs> it's our fault. Uh, we're doing a, a preview of Nightmare on Orange, which is a Halloween takeover of the Courtesy Bar, so our members get to go early before anybody else does to the public. That's Sweet. very fun. Uh, before the gang fights? <laughs> before the gang fights. <laughs> if you want meta, meta detector access first. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah no, it's true. It's before the gangs get there. Uh, and, uh, there's before a, the gang access. We're, Swine and Sons is taking over the kitchen at the Milk House in the Milk District. It's yeah. right next to Sidewards Brewery. Yeah, I'd appreciate it if people would stop calling me and Sons. Uh, it's, uh, it's Hey Swine <laughs> and Sons. Yeah. Oh, they're uh, so good. Dude. We're hosting a brunch bingo launch of their new brunch service there, so that'll be another Brenda event. People yeah. just love Brenda. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's how, crazy. Are you, how do you feel? Are you cool with? Because uh, that's a lot of work, man. It like, is. October is always insane. Yeah, like we're partnering with Orlando parking lot party. We're doing pop up concerts at like various uh, food truck events sponsored by Ford. Thank you to Ford Local Dealers. Hell yeah. Powered by Ford Lightning Trucks. Yeah. So that's very exciting. We're still like lining up the bands to do that. So it's a very busy next couple of months. Uh, and then I go sleep at a Hobbit house uh, before my birthday. You're the doing the, the, uh, the Airbnb Hobbit house? I'm in, in Rhode Island. It's like a, it's at like a sports... I don't know. It's like a hunting lodge Have you resort seen it? in Rhode Island. It looks no. like the real house from The Hobbit. Oh, really? Yeah. Like Airbnb? And you stay there. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's at a hotel, so it's kind of like a resort thing, and it's all kind of all-inclusive. They're, Are you anyway, going to dress like a Hobbit? Hobbit? All-inclusive Hobbit house? Yeah. Do you need a real Hobbit to come with you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. And you, I'll let you put me on sniffing. <laughs> 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 You'll let me put your yeah, yeah, yeah. You're as a hobby on it. As I know you already I, mean, I am. <laughs> is there a, I went to the bathroom. Is there some sort of theme or like, um, you know, Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit theme? No, I don't know. Understand why it's there. From what I've seen, it has nothing to do with the rest of the resort where they like they hunt 
like deer and elk and stuff. Like I don't understand. We hunt why all there's day, a and then we got that there. one. <laughs> yeah, thing. visit yeah. Rhode Island's flying me up, and we're gonna. They're just gonna take me all over the state. And that Hobbit House is one of the spots. I'm doing it for Orlando Magazine. That's dope. Yeah, I'm doing lots more with Orlando Magazine too. Awesome, so, man. We, I'm glad that's taken off. Yeah, is it themed Hobbit inside the house? Like that's yeah. me, or does yeah. it look yeah. like a regular? I've seen it. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's like, like a Hobbit bed. Yeah. Uh, and my table. friend's a big LARPer. He got me this beautiful wooden pipe that i've been smoking marijuana out of and i cannot wait to bring it and smoke weed at the hobbit house <laughs> and i might go as gandalf or gay dolph i don't know i haven't figured out what i'm gonna address i just i gotta figure that out that's pretty pretty, pretty soon and that's I it i'll know. stop talking i don't even know how to no, find this oh i put a link in the uh the twitch chat uh, here we go there we go um uh, here Sam, we go, tom for yeah. the resort the hobbit house oh let me see this hobbit house that's a, is it oh, the wow. Rhode Island yeah, one? Yeah, that's the Rhode yeah. Island one. There oh, like go. with the round door? Yeah, that's like, what I was saying. Whole full Hobbit. Yeah. Whole oh. full <laughs> Hobbit. Why did you say? Whole oh. full <laughs> Hobbit. <laughs> one of them's a restaurant. The Preserve at Boulder Hills Club yeah, and this, Residences. This is Boulder pretty. Hill. Look at that. You could sit out there. What, is that? what does it cost per night normally? I don't know. I know nothing. The rentals start at 660 and get more expensive as the six number sixty. Of guests. Oh, yeah. six what six are you saying at uh, like a, the actual Hobbit house that was well, in Lord not. of the Rings? It's not the actual. No, I know, but it looks exactly yeah, yeah, like it. See, that doesn't cut it for me. <laughs> That's wall, like the no. guy that owns... It's the closest. Uh, there's a guy that owns Falcor from. Oh, I see. Yeah, yes. but it's not the real Falcor. Oh. It was made to go into some like pizza place in like New uh. Jersey. And I'm like, I don't care. It, it looks oh, exactly like it. not the same. Thing. Would you make it into a bed and sleep on it every day? What Falcor? Yeah, and you'd be like, yeah. I wouldn't because my wife, <laughs> yeah. my wife and I have like yeah. really wet sex because she she oh, get all matted in the fur. Well, yeah, I mean, she's a mermaid. Come no, on. it's just you know we get very sweaty. Come on, a lot of fluids. Um, Sam, you got some antics this weekend? I do, yeah. So Trav and I will be going out to Melbourne. Woo! So if you guys have any uh, recommendations in Melbourne, let us know. But we'll be recording out there, so it'll be kind of a go-to show for us. That'll come out this Sunday. Uh, also, I want to mention, uh, the Side Chicks had a meetup at Salty Sisters last weekend. And we had some giveaways. We had some sunglasses and pepper spray, and they're now on the Tom and Dan sunglasses. website, yeah. so that you can. Yeah, we sell pepper spray to, to our lady it, listeners. I like if you that. didn't make it to the uh, event, you can now buy those on the website. Is it branded? About, that tiny it pepper branded, spray yeah. that, that won't stop me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm super horny. I, I looked at. The, are you admitting to attacking <laughs> women? No, no, but I looked at it. I was like, I'm I don't know. How many watch out for him out at the Orlando Amphitheater this weekend. How many squirts is that? And you know what they say? They say the first. Squirt usually goes in her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you're not. You got to train no. with it. Then it's real. Bad. You got to train with it. No. No. Then I feel bad. I normally leave. I'm like, well, it's already in her eyes. He likes it All spicy. Right. I'll just All pull right. her pants down and look at it. Just no. Okay. Not to say that. You're not allowed to say that. All right. Um, Enjoy your weekend, Tom. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. I can't wait to hear about it on the BDM show. I'll tell all the stories on the BDM show. Yes, yeah, sir. And I will tell you how many free Heinekens I have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll yeah, keep yeah. a count for well, it. And do you I, want me to text you oh, during let's do it? Oh, live updates in the do BDM group. Do you want to group. do live on live? Oh. Do, like, we'll make a segment in the BDM group, and then you say, you like, picture of where you're at, and the picture of where I'm at at the same time. Weekend thread. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll do That's a weekend a good thread. one. Yeah, luckily, the Grizz and his brother will be soulless drunk around me. <laughs> that will be fun to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be fun to watch. Do you have a 360 GoPro? Um, I, uh, I no. <laughs> 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 He's, out. He's so miserable. Right. Okay. Right. You're having fun. And hey. happy birthday, Christine. It's yeah. your birthday today. Happy birthday, happy Christine. Birthday. Brendan, thank you. Uh, Brenda, Brendan, thank you care. for being here. We appreciate you and love you. Sam, uh, have a I'm great a weekend. And guys, we will see you on Monday for the Bingo. Thanks, guys. Bye. Coming to Bingo. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I, I can't publish that. It's um, mediocre.